loves sending Kim pics because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like too to funny, do. Mama. <laughs> too funny, mamas. Too funny, mamas. I would get like him to play a song. Too <laughs> funny, mamas. What's with the Hey, what's going on? Welcome to Do Funny Mamas. I'm Kim Whitley. I'm Sherry Hi. Shepard. Hey, everybody. Barely making it, aren't you? You tired? I'm, I'm barely I'm making it. You worked hard today. Yeah, I had to wake up. At, yeah, I had to wake up today at uh like four o'clock because I had to be in this studio at five. Uh, to get in here and make up by 5.30 and then wow. go to like early oh morning. Oh, I do like just early, early morning press <laughs> and then I didn't get off until maybe three and they had to go over all of the Fritzl's show. <laughs> so I'm, I just haven't been operating on a lot of sleep and I need a lot of sleep, but I haven't gotten a lot of sleep. I get in the Uber now when I, I take an Uber home uh, because I fall asleep too much on the train because this, you know, me on the train and you do like this. I'm always doing like yeah. this. So I fall asleep all the time on the train, which is really not a good idea. But um, not if, not that I'm afraid I'll get hurt. I'm afraid somebody's going to snatch my wig off. <laughs> I'm afraid somebody's going to take this hair. It hurt me. Because um, <laughs> I don't want to wake up. I don't want to go see like this. And then I wake up and I'm bald headed. <laughs> Where my hair go? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? That'd be the best story ever on the show. But I'm so tired, I wouldn't even feel it. But I literally, I take the Uber, Kim, and as soon as I get in the Uber, I go to sleep. And I can feel myself doing this. And I fall on my <laughs> side, and that's the way I sleep. And and then I'm like on my side. Oh, sometimes I'll fall asleep like this, <coughs> and I'll start coughing. And then um, all of a sudden I hear, ma'am, we are at your, we are here. We are here, ma'am, please wake up. And I'm like, huh, what? I know you, cause I know you're what, huh? Do you ever tell the driver, hey, I'm gonna take a nap, I'm tired. I am going Why to say. tell you that? What do I have to tell you guys? Like, well, because of your coffee and yeah, but you're coughing. See, and we in New York. And... These drivers don't be caring. We in I'm New York. I'm coughing now. Are you I sick? got something in my throat. No, I just ate something, you know, before the podcast, as usual. And it got stuck in my throat. <laughs> well, happy uh, post Halloween. I showed your picture on the show. You did? I, yes, I did. Was it a cute picture? I was I was watching Beyonce. The picture of you mm -hmm. looking like a sexy Stevie Nicks. We did uh hello everybody. <clears throat> we did uh a <clears throat> two sold out shows. In, <clears throat> stop coughing because I'm coughing. <clears throat> uh we did two <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, this is this <laughs> No, this is really ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm the I'm one started the coughing. You did. Shoot. It was like when you sneeze, no, yawn. When you yawn and then everybody yawns around you. But we um We did. We, we, we did two a sold show. out shows. I haven't two. seen any of the pictures. Two sold out shows. That's true. At the Bethesda the Theater, y'all. In Bethesda, Maryland. No, first, 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 tell them you also did a sold out uh, performance with Kim Fields, Kim Coles, and Kim Wayans. And it was called The Four Kims or something like that at the theater. Uh, comedy, Delaware. Kims of Comedy. And I, this is what the problem is. We talk, Sherry. I'm so busy trying to get you to send your pictures to Chris. I ain't sent out one picture. I forgot we Not did one. all that. Not one. Not one, but but I but I was telling Sherry because I was gonna send him. I was screenshotting you on the TV, and um, I told Dad, "Gone it." I'm so mad because I, I didn't, didn't think... send any pictures either. Oh, you didn't send the pictures I told you to send, Chris. I got it. I was in an Uber, but I fell asleep. <laughs> I'm through. I'm be through. that be that guy that was waking you up again. How'd it go? 
I did. Yes. I fell asleep. So no, it's okay. You gotta, but you gotta do the good. man. You gotta do the man. You gotta do the man. Can Madam, you get the this, door? That's my gong chop. Wow. Did you say that's my li my lamb chops? My gong chop. Okay, I don't even know. Oh, she uh, said that like that we're that supposed to know. Can you get the door? That's that my means. gong chop. Wow. What's a gong chop? My gong chop. You know when you get the little get um the little beads in the bottom of your tea and stuff? The boba? Okay, yes, the boba. Yes, 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 yes. I like the so boba. So it's not boba, it's a gong chop, but it's a peach tea. Um, so I still do have on my Beyonce nails, silver. But um, so we you so this was a free event at the library. It's taking us a little bit to get revved up here, but this is a free <laughs> event at the library in Delaware. Because we are coughing. Got... <laughs> All right, are coughing. these online? I, I'll look for them. Her pictures? Yeah, I maybe think I can she's find sending some. them now. I think she's I sending them now. The, the, um, okay, the beautiful go. thing about it was that <laughs> the four Kims. This was a free event. They didn't charge, no. so they had to turn hundreds of people oh. away. Oh, here we go. I found some and online. So what, what were you guys well, I sent it to you. Just sent it to you. you got so it? Okay. what what happened was we we went, we did, none of us really knew. I guess Kim Fields probably knew. But the uh Wilmington Library paid for us to come um to uh Wilmington, Delaware, and they offered like all the Kims to come, but it wasn't like a comedy show. It was to come and to drop wisdom, to talk okay. to people, but they paid for everything. And, you know, I'm talking about first class, everything. They took care of us. We ate well. We flew well. Um, we, uh, these were the crazy pictures. Somebody put up, we were in, this is really a cute picture. We walked out and um, sat on the stage and Kim Fields interviewed us about comedy and it was pretty nice because okay, that's out, oh, because we didn't have to. Sorry, because you made sure Josh cough was, again. Okay, Josh was at the mall, so you know I got to keep my phone on. Sorry, doing the podcast. Sorry. Um, so it was nice. It was Kim Coles, Kim Wayans, Kim Fields, and Kim Whitley, and we sat up on stage. Yeah, I think we all we had. We talked about Everything comedy, timing, timing. I, oh, your eyes are huge. Uh, we talked about, <laughs> they scared me. <laughs> um, we talked about character development, um, you know, stand Did you up. The state? Really Did you talk about the state of comedy and women? The, you know, the separation of the women and the men, the, the, no. What's the, the, the bias <laughs> against no. women? No, wow. none of that okay. good stuff. The, right, all the women. Also, you know what we did talk about? The, the editing. The, no. <laughs> Kim, did you mean to send this video, by all, the way? Yeah, that was for today. I'll okay. talk about that today. Okay. You can pop that in later when we get to that, too. Or you can remind me. Um we talked about the editing and the culture of cancellation and what that has done to comedy and censoring um, comics. And Kim Wayans made a great point. Um, I loved it that really comics are the reflection of the world. Comics tell the truth. Comics tell society really what you're doing. And uh, because we can, sp and we comics. used to be able to do it. Can I tell you about this censoring thing? It's a horrible mm -hmm. thing. Comics also are the ones that yep. say the emperor wears no clothes. I know the young ones, if there's any young ones listening to us, they may not understand that phrase <clears throat> where the comic can scream. It's a story about an emperor who, um, I'm trying to remember the story, but some, you know, one of his wise men told him that to be great he should take his clothes off and then everybody would revere him and he'd be, you know, the, the wisest, the most handsome king. And he believed this wise person and he took off his clothes and he's strutting through the town, this emperor with no clothes on and everybody was revering him and bowing down to him. 
And the town crier was the one that said, you ain't got no clothes on. And then he realized, oh shoot. And then he was like trying to cover himself. And so that's a phrase uh, that people now use, say, you know, the comic is the one that says, the emperor is wearing no clothes, which means they tell it like it is. Yes. And that is, you know, there was a comic, uh, uh, <clears throat> who was the one that had the seven curse words? Uh, George Carlin. George Carlin, you know, would say these words, the seven curse words. Lenny Bruce went to jail for things that he said. You had uh, a Red Fox, Richard Pryor. And now yeah. we are so censored as comedians. You got to watch what you say because the moment you say one thing that angers three people <laughs> out of 300, they're ready to cancel your career. Yep. And it is the kiss of death when you have to get on stage and censor what you say. And especially being a stand-up, I'm glad you guys talked about this. The way yeah. we form a joke, it's like being in a writer's room. Um, and we go through this all the time in, in the Hot Topics for uh, the Sherry Show. And Kim, you went through it when you had your show. Um, I'm sorry, Kim, what was the name of your talk show? Because you, I was- Oh, drama. Oh, drama. drama. When you get in a writer's room to craft jokes, you go all the way to the left, yep. to the dark side. You go all the way to the right, the horrible side. And that, because you're able to go there, then you can get to where you can shape the joke. So it's palatable. And if somebody hears that, it's when you're working on material, like at a comedy club, it's not, it's not, shaped or crafted or formed you it's got to go places where sometimes it's offensive sometimes it's dirty but by the time you do it 14 15 times it can become perfect and that's what the, mm -hmm. the mainstream is here but one mm -hmm. person is recording you. that's why i hate when people record me at a comedy club hey andre and andre can attest to this um because mm -hmm. i always get him when he in the midst of shaping his damn jokes and i'm like why are you talking that way? Gray Fox returns. Well, it's a creative license. It's like you, you know, and one person tapes you and puts it out on YouTube and then your yep. career. And it's out of context. It's out of context. And it's out of context. That's what the problem is. What happens is what's the what's the comic that just got in trouble? Homas, Homas, he was he's up for the Daily Show. Oh Lord! No. Oh, the Indian comic. Oh, what's yes, his name, Chris? Lord, Lord I, I was just texting somebody else and got he, what I was doing. Uh, Let's look up Chris, you know oh, his wait, name. Man, yeah. He's up for the no, I know exactly. Chair. You're it's Hassan Minaj. Right, Netflix. Hassan Minaj yep. and Hassan yeah. Minaj uh, is in a lot Hassan of hot Minaj. water because yep. he talked about going to a homecoming, yep. and. He was met at the door of the girl he was going to take to the homecoming that night. He was met by, she was white. He's Indian. She was met by, uh, we should have him on the show, Kim, if he would come. Yeah. He was met by her mother, a white woman who told him she didn't want her son going out with him to the homecoming. And a a brown daughter. 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 Going out with the brown, but oh, she didn't want her daughter. Excuse me. That's daughter. another story. Let's start a whole nother Going thing. to the homecoming with this brown boy. So it was a story about racism, uh, you know, uh, making it, shining a light on racism. Well, here's the thing about comics. We'll embellish some parts of the story. It's not all the way 100% in the truth, but we shape it, the truth, and we shape it with things that make it bigger. So I guess a reporter, a white woman from like the Times. The New, Yorker, like that, the New Yorker. The New Yorker. The New Yorker. Did an interview with him. And because it... The mother did tell him that, but she told him like two or three days prior to the homecoming. So it wasn't like he got there and then she said, you can't go. But he meshed it all in one day. So for purposes of the joke, so he could just, it was like all in a one day kind of stream. And right. so she made it seem like he was lying. He gets all of this backlash. And it's like, that's what we all were talking do. about. The fact it's, yeah, so when they the check the facts, some facts weren't mm -hmm. like what he said because what the story was. In comics, that's what we do. That's yeah, the difference exactly. between a person who's just funny 
and a person who's a comedian who's who tells jokes. We embellish, we we make it bigger, we take it further so we can get the laughter. Because if you just tell That's it straight, no, one, no, one, no one has ever said a comic, no one has ever said, you know what? A comic is a reporter and a comic has to tell facts and truth. A comic is a comedian. That is the whole point. We take the truth and we stretch it. We stretch we it. Add some Richard Pryor will be really in hot water today. His storytelling and his embellishing. And I was I was with Lena Waithe, and Lena Waithe showed me um, his Hamas his um, um, his uh, YouTube. He has a not an apology but an explanation on YouTube. That it's was long. really well done. Has, Hassan is Watch his name. It. You keep saying Hassan. Hamas. Hassan. <laughs> Hamas, Hassan. It's a lot. Sorry. Yeah, don't say Hamas, Kim. Yeah, it's just... Hassan. Hamas I'm sorry. Is get I'm it's all good. Hassan Minaj. Yeah. Hassan. Hassan. I, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes in here. Uh, Hassan. Correct? Correct. No, correct. 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 I think okay. I think it's it's either Hassan or Hassan uh, Minaj. I think it's Hassan. Lena is probably watching this and cussing me out right now. She was like, you, you, you can't remember the man's name. Um, Hassan, but he really, you saw that YouTube when he explained. I was mad that he took the time to have to explain his joke. So was I. That part, but, why? Uh -huh, go ahead. The, but the reason he had to explain to him, <laughs> Hassan is not one of these okie doke comics that's explain it so he can get back into the comedy club. You're talking about right. his livelihood. He's up for the position of the host of the yes. Daily Show, so he has to explain. It's like being a president. You're not just you're not just servicing 300 people at Chuckles Comedy Club in Nashville, <laughs> Tennessee. You're talking about taking over a chair. So he he had to. But the problem is, is once you start explaining yourself, all I was going to say that's keep the problem. Yourself. And then we're going to have to explain. It's going to trickle down. Now, because if she goes looking my fact check, my fact checking, trust I'm gonna be canceled and 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 sent back to Cleveland because they'll be like, Kim, uh, you made up this story, you made up that story. A lot of my comedy comes from the truth, but every now and then there's something you're like, that's pretty funny. I could say, you know, maybe that happened to me. Like I talk about going to Africa and the monkeys. The monkeys might not have done everything that, and I might have seen it, or you might have heard a funny story that you can make hilarious. A lot of people have comedy writers. What if the comedy writer gives you something? Now, you know, what if Hassan has a comic, a comedy writer, and they write something for him, and it's not his story? It's, it's not even his story. story because also you like when you when we talk about relationships, a lot of times we'll take three relationships and form them into one person. Yes. So everybody did a little bit of something and we make them one person. Or if you have a comedy writer, they write their experience and you regurgitate their experience and it never even happened to you. But it's a relatable experience. I really, I watched it. I didn't even watch his whole thing because I was just like, this is terrible that you got to do a freaking 20 minute explanation and break down exactly what happened in the joke and when. I'm getting bored. This is not why you a comic. This is not funny. I was just like, you know, and, and even it's also bad when you have a talk show um, because everything you say is taken and blown apart. Things that normally I would have been able to say in a comedy club, I can't say now because we have, uh, Cat Williams said this one time, he said, when you are beholden to sponsors and the corporate structure, oh, yeah. you have to do things that they approve of. So when you are your own person and you're not bound to that, you, you have license to do whatever you want, as he does. He owns all of his masters. But when you do a talk show, you are beholden to people, the corporate yeah. sponsors. They have morality clauses. You're beholden to the your affiliates that air you on the different stations. The moment you mm -hmm. do something that they don't like, if they pull you from that time slot, you could be gone from five stations across the country. It's yes. a lot of, you have to really be careful. And it does stifle a lot of what I can say. There's times when I'm not on the podcast and you'll have a guest because I'll say, Kim, I can't even be on this podcast mm -hmm. and talk about this kind of thing because the ramifications, I still got to take care of my well, child. I mean, which is interesting because the host before you could say anything they wanted to because maybe there were different people there, but they were known no, notorious. That's not true. 
That's not true. Really? That she could say anything she wanted. The ram she there were ramifications of 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 her when she said things. Sponsors dropped. Do you remember? Oh. You remember the oh, one time no. there was a time. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna say we grown. I'm gonna say Wendy. There was a time when Wendy said Wendy Williams said. Um, I don't understand why they don't. They have like black colleges. They have affirmative action oh, I or something. That. Yeah. You know, I'm getting wrong. But why do they just have black colleges? Why can't they have, you know, right. white colleges? And and it was actually like, but they do. They're called white colleges. And because she said that, sponsors dropped left and right. When you when you when sponsors start dropping because sponsors pay for your show advertisers pay for your show that's why you have a when people get a collective outrage and they start going after the advertisers who advertise on those shows advertisers don't no. like that and if they no. pull their advertising that's when you start seeing apologies from people that's where yeah. the power comes from the collective community when you when you have uh, something to say or you want to go up against somebody you hit those advertisers and so what was happening with that one comment that she made you know, their sponsorships and advertising, they dropped out. So now you don't have anything. Talk shows were created for advertisers to, you know, so it, it, it's, that's why commercials came and all of that. It's some really good books on that. Why, you know, why we have, uh, um, I forget what it's called. Every three, three times a year, you set your advertising rates. It sweeps. That's why we have sweeps. Oh, sweeps. Oh, that's what it is. Sweeps, oh, sweeps. so the, the ratings you get set the rates for the advertisers. And so once advertisers get like, <gasps> they don't want no trouble and they start pulling their advertising, then that's less money for the show for it to get produced. That's why she then had to have Roland Martin come on the show and explain the function of black um, colleges, HBCUs, remember? So no, it wasn't that she was able to get away with things. It was like when it got when it, when there were things that sparked some outrage. Even on the View, I think that Joy and a, a one of the newer co-hosts, Michelle Collins, said something about nurses. Remember that they said they didn't under nurses were just a women walking around. They don't even have stethoscopes like a doctor. And when yes. I tell you, every nurse in America got mad at the bad. View. Yep. And they started advertisers started pulling their their advertising and they had to go on and, and apologize to the nurses. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you're a comic and you start Sorry. feeling that it's like <clears throat> you can't say certain things. Absolutely. I miss being able to just uh, get on stage. Still sitting and, there, he off camera. You can as a comic, you don't care what you say, do you? No. No. That's why Andre is in trouble with a lot and of people. Andre is in a great position because right now he doesn't have a lot to lose. He's working for himself. He's his own consultant. He's his own businessman. But let Andre get into a position where he's elevated and he's the host of the Daily Show. And they pull back, pull up, pull up all of this old stuff that he's done. Then he's in trouble. Ooh, no, they can't pull up. You don't want to put just Andre's toes coming out our bathtub is going to get him canceled. So that's the problem is when they start going back and getting that old stuff. Um, that is what happened with Aerie Spears and Tiffany Haddish. Remember, this was oh, yeah. when they did the, the skits for Funny or Die. And I'm not going to go into detail. They, if you want to know. Look they up did. Tiffany You're right. Or, they did. Right. They start up pulling up stuff. And I'm not saying I, I look here. Everybody got their own judgment uh, about what about Aries Spears and Tiffany. I, we're not going into that. I'm just saying the things that you do live. And when they start, Kevin Hart was pulled from hosting the Oscars over a comment that he made and apologized for. He bowed out. I, I respected that. That was that was crazy how they went after him. It was so much backlash. And it, mm. and it's the thing. Somebody asked me today. They said, you know, even even. Um, even if you make a statement, is it enough? You can't even make a statement now because there's so many streaming and platforms. So you can make a statement apologizing, but you got half the nation who will never see that statement. So I think why, it why do you say that? I think huh? it depends on the, it depends on the image that you want to have and and 
what do you want to do with your career? Um, Richard Pryor, he went network and he was doing okay, but then they canceled his show, but he still made his money. He never had that squeaky clean Bill Cosby image. So when he did what he did, it's like, what did you expect? That was Richard Pryor. You know, well, yeah, George so Carlin, you got, same you, thing. Lenny Bruce. You are, but he, got, he got arrested a lot of times, Lenny Bruce. But if you're mm. a comic who that's where you want to go and you don't care, then you don't care. But most comics want to be on TV. They want to be in film. Or you also evolve, Andre. The way you start out, maybe not the way that is the way that you finish. True. And so they get no, you with the way you started out. Jeez oh, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard. I'm about, my head's about to explode. I, I'll say this. It's right now is the best time in the world, I think. I mean, things can be dangerous, but you're doing it yourselves. The podcast, if you went full in, if everything went to sh hell and you two had to just do a podcast, there is a way that you could do your own things. Like comics can kind of control their own destiny a little bit more because you have stand up that your fans will come see you. You can build it with a podcast audience. There's comics that are making so much money podcasting. They won't even do a movie now. They're like, why would I go sit in a trailer for two weeks when I could do shows for, well, to me, then they're not, you know, if you got a, a person who's a comic goes, why do I even need to do a movie and sit in the trailer two hours? Then you don't understand the art of filmmaking and telling a story. Then you ain't supposed to be no damn actor because you in it for the money. I could never su survive. My soul could never. I love podcasting, but I am an actor. I am, I, I am a performer. So I, for me, you know, I would have to rely on my stand up. Louis mm -hmm. C.K., I don't know if that's all he wanted to do was stand up. Uh, he was making His films and TV shows. No, but he, no, they canceled everything that Louis C.K. No, had. I'm saying he was because making films and TV shows, and then now he's, exactly. he's back, but he's back crushing it. I mean, he's, he's back, back selling out. Because, so. And I'm not going to go into what happened with Louis C.K. Look up his name, it'll come. But what happened was, because of sexual harassment charges, every he had a movie premiere that they canceled. Yeah, they canceled Everything the was movie. canceled for Louis C.K. Now, what saved him was stand up because he had a diehard fan base and he mm -hmm. was able to go on the road. But still, you take the risk of going on the road and there will be people who will always come in to disrupt. So now you got to deal with that. And people, somebody freaking, I don't even want to get on Bill Cosby, so I'm going to stay off of him. But, um, so now you got to deal with that hecklers who are going to come in. Somebody just confronted and I talked about it on my show and got backlash. Ari Spears was on stage. So yes, you can go back to being a comic, but because of the, the realm and the breadth of TV and the reach of social media, which was not happening in the Richard Pryor days, people get that and bring it into the clubs. The person that confronted Ari Spears was mad about the whole issue about him and, um, his funnier die and confronted him on stage. So now you got to deal with all of that. That's crazy. Really? Uh, he was, he was, he was working, the, he was working the crowd. He was working the crowd and dude got in his feelings. But I think it really boils down to integrity and doing what you do. You will never make everybody happy. So why even try? Why? I mean, just yes, do what but you do. You have a lot to lose. If you have a lot to lose, Andre, if you're in the if position it ain't my life, time, that's the only thing I'm concerned about losing. Anything else, I can get back. I've lost right. and I've gained. Well, I, think it, I, don't. I think also putting yourself, because I'm not, I'm not downplaying what you are saying, but I'm saying this gentleman is a, was a writer for The Daily Show and he's up yeah. for the chair. And this is like a lot of money. This is his yeah. livelihood. I'm not in his wallet. I know it's going to be a lot of money. And I don't know who he's taking care of in his family, um, who he's caring for in his family. And this is the stepping stone to him. You know, he ain't trying to go back to the comedy clubs and, and, and doing open mics and doing. He's right. at a place in his life. This is, you know, and this, everything no, and can be taken what, away. But one thing he did say, which was smart, is that... Everyone is fact checking my stand up, but nobody is fact checking the the reporter. That that they're all everybody's checking his stuff. The reporter was wrong on several statements and things he said, and he pulled up the things that he said, and you can see she took it and mixed it all up. I was like bad, but no one's uh, faulting the New Yorker. They're all well, look at all of what he went through. 
He went through 20 minutes because I didn't even finish it. I was like, this is taking too long. He went through 20 minutes of explanation. How many people even saw that particular video? Exactly. That's what I was saying. No, you're right. And he had to write it. Look at the facts. Get it all together. Ask the people. I mean, he did a lot of work for that. You are in a a, you are in a world of social media where people, kids are swiping right every three seconds. That 20 minute video, I was like, this taking too long. But so the people now that's you over here use him. your own receipt. Yeah. Say, I'm sorry. But the people that are looking to, the people that are looking to cancel him, they wouldn't be checking for him anyway. So what he he's not losing anything. I don't know about he, that. What do you mean he's not losing anything? Are you kidding me? That's the big news. I mean, he as a comedian, he, he could lose that job. He, his job. He's not just the a comedian. Job. It's the big position. And he's a, and he's a news uh uh commentator person, comedy person. This could affect him getting a job over Saturday Night Live. Getting a, this could yeah. affect a lot of his. He, that's what I say. He's when you got a lot to lose, Andre. You got a lot to lose. You get right. to explain it. So, you get to explain it. Let well, me explain. I think controversy breeds success. He'll come I was going to say top. because I wouldn't have known yeah, who he no, was. I know, I, no one, oh, no one knew who he was until. Oh then. no, he's extremely popular. He's no, that's not really nobody knew who he was. That is Simon Ash, you're saying you didn't know. Wait, wait, wait. Was. Let me restate. Okay. He got way more popular because of the controversy. I disagree. It's not, but it wasn't good popular. You disagree. I don't, How I don't you disagree with people right here movie. that found out who he was? People that I talked to didn't know who he was. Well, you're so probably you talking to a control group. I've been, I've known who that guy is. Who He's nobody. on the Daily it Show. It doesn't matter. You're one person. He's on, He's on the, the, daily show. Say, the Daily Show. It, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't give a rat's ass. What I'm trying to say hmm. to y'all is there is a part of the world that watches the Daily Show, and there's a part of the world that doesn't. So what I'm telling you is that there are people who who got to know this man because of the controversy. I don't know why y'all getting mad at me, uh, Chris. No one's mad. I'm just saying he had a Netflix show. He has a Netflix show. He has specials. He's on every podcast you could ever think of. He's. I said you said popular because I do. I do respect what you're saying. That more people. You could. I wouldn't call it popularity. I would call awareness. I would say there's more people aware of him now. I, I just, I see him as like, you're telling me like, this is somebody who has already reached a ton of levels of, of fan star and, and tell I me, tell me he doesn't know. know who Russell Peters is. No, Russell that's fine. Peters but if you go, but if you go across the, it, it, Russell Peters sells out stadiums if he goes to the Middle East. So but you I have to take into account that as well. Saying. Every no, Indian I'm person not. knows who Hassan is. Sorry, go ahead. But that's Indian people. There's a billion of them. Uh oh, hey, 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 hey. What? It's not what, only what Indian people who know him. No, I'm. I know. What's <laughs> but all I did was I I had issue with you said popular. That's it. That's what I'm saying. Well, but I say Russell Peters. Maybe a lot of black people don't know who he is, and Russell Peters. A lot Peters of black people too. may not know who he is. But what I'm, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not taking away from what you're saying. He's gotten more popular because of the scandal. But I'm saying it's not a good popular because it still could cause him to lose out. I don't espouse to every every bad every piece of news is gonna be good for you. Cause that's not true. It you destroy your career. It, so it, if you're somebody what? who all you do is comedy, no, then no big woo. You wasn't work, you, you know, you wasn't working in movies and TV, no way. So no harm, no foul. Can we take it? I I feel some kind of way about this. I feel like I was trying to make a point, and y'all were disrespectful. No, I think you took it personally. Nobody was, we we just said this. We're we're not taking away from what you say. You are right. But um, she's frozen or log off. I didn't know, and a lot of people didn't, and they didn't. But he is known to get on the Daily Show. He is known. He's a name. Um, But. The comment I was making was just because it's it's a scandal doesn't mean it's a good thing. Say again. She bailed. Are you serious? <laughs> she is not on here right now. Uh, I guess whenever she comes back on. Hassan Minaj, all I was saying was, and I respect what Kim was saying. <laughs> all I was saying was he is already a, just a super popular person. So I, the word popular is what made me go, wait, wait, wait. He's done a million things. But I understand what Kim meant for sure, as far yeah. as uh, 
people like, becoming aware Halloween. of him in a negative light. And by the by the way, Andre, <laughs> Halloween was yesterday. You look like a bouncer. <laughs> And Terry told me I was being childish. That's the only reason why I came back. I never said I you was, was being childish. Minute, you, now, now you are being childish. I say you taking it personal, Kim. We're having a discussion. You are, and, and for you to go, you don't be putting words in my mouth. I said, Wait a you, minute. I said that you text me and told me I was being childish. So come back. And I say you a lot. You lying because I ain't texted you. You did. Kim, That's no, the only you, reason I came you gonna, back. You going you gonna double down on the lie. That's the only reason I came back. Stop being a baby. Now I'm saying it. Stop being a baby. We've got photos of the Kims of comedy at the library from the, uh, <laughs> if we want to check those out, throw, take me off the screen, please. Yeah. The, uh, so was this some, you want to pout, you want to pout, you want to pout, Kim? What's up, buddy? What a time. I haven't seen you in a long time. I'm, I'm, I, I, I want to see you. Oh, you're looking at, that's, what's, what's, what's that going on with the hair? Oh, I didn't put anything it. in it, so it looks kind of weird. I thought it was a hat. A hat? <laughs> I thought it was a tam. I thought it was a tam. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Give it some texture. You like that? Yeah, yeah. There, there we go. go. There, there you go. go. Man, you scared me for a minute. I thought you lost your hip. My hipness? I don't have a hip. Don't you worry. All right, Andre, you do look like you look like a not so undercover cop. Well, you he know, do. He looks like I, a motorcycle cop. I do yeah. a lot of things. I got to keep the bills paid. <laughs> I love it. It's, Andre, you do look like you could. He looks like he could take that shirt off and be like, "Did somebody order? Call right, the police?" Yeah. Right. Absolutely. So wait, wait, wait. First of all, show that you can show the pictures, Chris. Okay. Yeah. And hey, let's acknowledge this too. People are excited to see uh, the Silver Fox. They haven't seen him in a little while, so good to see Andre back on. Uh, check these out. From the library, Kim, was this some kind of tax fraud thing? Because it was in Delaware. Like I'm kind of, you're saying you got all these nice things happening. I'm like, Delaware. There's a lot of tax shelter businesses there. What what was this exactly? And will you be raided while this show is live? I didn't think about that. It, that's hilarious. <laughs> that is a lot of hair. A lot of different somebody else's hair on my head. Um, except for Kim Wayans. Who but are the people? We were, this is uh, in the yellow shirt, starting over that to the left. That's Kim Wayans. Kim Fields with the big uh, curly afro. Of course, Kim Whitley with the largest head in Hollywood. And then there is Kim Coles, the happiest girl on earth. All so we were brought in. This was the Deltas all that all were there. Deltas. The Deltas we did. And what was great about this, we all signed our books. Um, I didn't get to send you all the pictures, but they had all the tables set up. They bought our books and had them there in the library and all these women would buy the books and we signed them. So that was very nice. And it was a free event. So that's us before we went on stage. That's the crazy pose. Who did the, who did the best on stage, Kim? Wow. That's hard to say because everyone had a moment. Everyone was hilarious with talking and Kim Wayans went, went ahead and did her character from uh, a living single oh, living, color, living, color, living color. She was so funny and just talking and um, Kim Coles, funny, smart, Kim Fields, funny, smart. And, and Kim Whitley dropped a couple nuggets. I don't know about funny part, but you know, I said some crazy things. But it was interesting because they brought Kim Coles out to Ice Cube. They brought me out to the living single music. <laughs> so yeah, it was awesome. The library they had an amazing night. What just what a night, and it was free to get all of that knowledge and to just hang out because all four of you guys are so down to earth and real. Like none of you, yeah. Kim. Kim feels just uh, she she was sending me video back and forth yesterday she because she was dressed as uh do i still have her video oh i didn't ask her if i could show it but she me and her i like yellowstone fans and she dressed up as one of the characters and she had her hat on and she took it off real slow and uh it was she was so funny in all of her videos that she sent me and i just i'm like y'all people just don't know you know they hear hollywood but they don't right. realize that you guys go so down to earth you know, you a little childish, Kim, but everybody else is just really 
cool, calm. And, <laughs> and <laughs> everyone got to be super comfortable and have a night of luxury paid for by the American yeah. taxpayer. So that's it. Wait, <laughs> that is she the American she missed, dream. She missed that. That was a that was a shot at Kim. Uh, how about how about Stand some comments? So Kim, real quick? Okay. Uh, Miss Ann says Kim Fields is naturally hilarious. Uh, I don't, I don't know this. Maybe there's a riff, so I hope this isn't awkward. I'm asking, but LL Cooper, LL Cool Cooper said Kim Coles and Kim Wayans got along. Was there a riff there? Uh, from Living Color, maybe. I don't know. I would say they get along pretty well if they're doing a show together. Well, you know, Kim Coles was not. I don't think she had a riff with Wayans, but the Wayans were her her brothers who were executive producers of mm -hmm. the show. And I do believe was Kim Coles let go from uh, Living Color, Kim, or did she quit? I think she was let go. I think there was something. So oh, it could have been I can't, with the family. I you know, Kim stop. Wayans is part of the Wayans empire. So oh, something with that. Well, I found out a lot about Kim. I did not know that Kim Wayans. You remember the um, uh, Marlon the Wayans brothers a show? Yeah, because they were talking about in living color. No, no, no the no, Wayans the brothers show. I was oh, oh, wait, yeah. We're All happy right. and we're brothers. And we wrote twenty episodes of that. I had no idea. She said, okay. "Yeah," and then she said, "You were on the show because of me. I picked you." I was like this. I said, "No one ever <laughs> told me because I sent your brother." A gift. <laughs> She's see because you always be on the mid that. side. Yeah, that's true. No, 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 and I and I apologize because that is that is facts right there. I'm thinking, oh, it must have been her brother all this time, and and I have to apologize to her one day about that because I was like, she, oh, I, she wrote 20 episodes and she wrote the episode that I was in. The misery uh, oh, spoof. Wow, the misery so spoof, cool. right? Yeah. Yeah, yep. that's it. right. It makes you go. You want to edit? That's I'm wild. Crazy. First uh, of all, <laughs> whatever. Some more comments. Stick in the head. We're brother. Oh, singing along. Makila's here. Uh, Queen B says Kim Wayne's hella funny. Uh, Monica, some other folks, kind of explaining the situation. Shout out to Barbara Phillips. Nashville's in the house. Uh, great to see Andre from Latanya. Uh, J P R Jade says I love Yellowstone. That's cool. Mm, I've never seen it. That show is so popular, and it's about horses and stuff, right? Popular. Oh, oh, popular. You haven't seen something that's popular. See, everyone doesn't see everything. I know. Ooh, if you, only you there were a scandal. Child. Are you pouting? It. Are you having a tantrum? Wow. Wow. You might be a little stressed out. We had, a, we had an interesting evening last night. Yes, we did. Did you guys Very finally hook up? No, it's was just trying to keep it light, trying to get you to change the subject. So, uh, right. if we're <laughs> jelly, <laughs> brother, you have no idea. Andre ruined a night of comedy last night. Let's just say oh, what that. happened? Okay, you don't have to tell. Look, you can, you can act like we don't know what's going on. What happened? Um, what Andre, do we at the comedy club, and Andre just gets quiet all of a sudden. And he was like, I'm having a pain. I'm having a pain right here. And I was like, I said, drink the drink the soda and belch. I said, that's always good. And he just got quiet. Then he disappeared. Oh. And me and Val were looking for him. Come to find out, he has gone to the hospital. Andre. Yes. <laughs> Stop it. it. Dexter. Uh, Dexter, come. I'm so tired. I realized that. Uh, <laughs> well, the phone's the phone's not making noise, so something has to. Something's got to make noise. Yeah, yeah, I got him. I got him. He's the only security dog. The other one is big and yeah. goofy. He don't do that. So Andre Hi. disappeared. I'm sitting there looking for him. I asked Val. I was like, "Each show's taking a long time." We text Andre, "Where are you?" He's like, "I'm on the way to the hospital. I had Carl pick me up." We were like, "What?" So he's in the hospital all night, and I said, "Why didn't you say so?" I didn't want to ruin y'all's night. Now you've ruined our night. So don't sit there and just- No, you know what ruining the night is, Andre? When you're supposed to come get Joshua and then Kim is waiting and waiting 
And then you go, well, you didn't call me and tell me what time I was supposed to come get Joshua. So why, you know, I did. I stayed home and I was, was sitting in the tub with my feet in the bubble, was taking videos of myself. Cause you didn't let me know that you needed me five minutes before you supposed to go. That's, to the that's your boys. Wow, that's like a, it's like he has a twin. <laughs> that's ruining the night. Andre, not when your appendix we'll is burst. The, the hair off and then we could really be sure. So wait, so you're supposed to you're supposed to go to Atlanta and perform with Kim this weekend. What do you say? <laughs> you better yep. You hope you're this funny this weekend. Me and Andre are gonna be down at the Atlanta Comedy uh theater in uh um, down in Atlanta. Can we skip gonna are we gonna skip over so Andre can make the flight? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm oh. cool. Um, oh, you have like a bowel obstruction or something? I already called. I already <laughs> called Buddy Lewis. We <laughs> 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 on replace. One minute in, minute out. <laughs> on, you know, the fo- on the on the phone with him thing. in the hospital, she replaced this him. This is the bad thing about Kim. She be playing men against each other. <laughs> they don't ever know where they stand in her life. That's the problem. Yeah, you know. Kim will play a man against each other. See. What she don't realize. What's wrong, Andre? I don't, I don't trip it. <laughs> what did you? What happened? What did the doctor say? Uh, I had gas. <laughs> what did I say? Didn't I say belch? What did I say? But why didn't he do? Let's talk about this. Why didn't he do what I asked him to do at the table? Because I couldn't breathe. I thought I was having matter. a heart attack. You were not. Your heart ain't even on that side. I, hey, when you can't breathe, it's we got on, chest pains. You just trying to get help. He has a pain under his right arm. He didn't say nothing about I can't breathe. I, I said, that's a cramp. I said, drink that Coke and belch. He just looks up like this. Mm, mm. I said this. The one so thing with Andre, Andre, Andre gets, both of y'all have a problem. Kim, one of your problems is when you talk to people. You talk to people like they're three. And you always screaming at them. Well, you, because you ain't do what I told you to do when I said drink the Coke. Okay, you got to. The second thing is Andre also has There's an more. ego and an attitude. Andre don't like women telling him what to do. So you can say, unless you tell Andre and like you stroking him. He don't want to listen. He doubled down and stuff. No. He look at you and won't do it. And you could be telling I, him, but you gotta you gotta talk to Andre a certain way. Otherwise, he don't listen to you. I tell you, you what. gotta say to Andre, honey, I'm, I'm concerned. Just maybe drink it, babe. Drink, try to drink the coke and see how it, how it make you feel. Okay, just do that. Rub his back. You, stop. Fix your face, Kim, because you know it's true. You talk. You gotta know love languages. Andre don't respond something. when you just be telling him what to do. I'm trying he be acting to save like he's listening life. to you. Didn't he just do what he want to do. Yeah, I was, I was trying so, to save his life. Uh, that's what yeah, I was you, trying you to do. You don't talk to him like you talk to him like no, you no, 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 that's all right. No, you don't listen. Let me tell you when he's going to listen, Sherry. Next time you're going to be like, damn, I should have belched. When he get that $100,000 bill from the hospital. That's what insurance is for. Okay. You still got a copay. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Hey, so I, don't you could have just belts and we could have been done with it. We we getting that, you know, as we mature, I know a lot of people that ain't here. When I feel the pain, I go to the doctor. I ain't messing around. Like, Andre, there ain't nothing wrong with going to the doctor, but you kind of want to tell the two women you came with that you're going to the hospital. Because they that, probably could have got up and taken you. That, well, Kim would because she'd have made you fart. Kim would have hit you till you <laughs> farted. Get that out. So... That's that's what I, I, that. I, I said I should have punched you in your chest. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. It's all I'm glad love. you're okay. You're scared I'm me glad a little you're bit. all right, man. I've been thinking about you lately, Andre. Do you see I showed your picture on the show, Andre? I did. Thank you. I got the man. Everybody want me to be their Manny. I'm like, okay, well, how'd you feel? Because <laughs> <laughs> I um, on my show... I talked about the fact that Kim Kardashian hired a Manny for the kids and she was scared to tell Kanye. And I was talking about the fact that I have had men in Jeffrey's life in the role of mentors, AKA Manny's, and they've all been good looking. So I showed four who have been in Jeffrey's life and Andre was one of them. But I also put what you do as well, that you were a filmmaker or a writer. And um, yes. I said that along with who you were, but everybody was so fascinated by your looks. It wasn't paying no attention to nothing else I said. 
I, I should have sent the shirt off the shirt she's off sleeping. picture. Like, oh boy, he had he had his shirt off. I'm like, wait, where my shirt off picture? <laughs> I didn't I show no did. shirt off picture. Why <laughs> <laughs> right, you did show that dude's shirt off picture? You did. You, did. you know, yes, oh, the other guy. It. He had no. I just gave. He, I was like, wow, Vince. Vince, yes, yeah. yeah. That's why he keeps asking for the. That's why Vince keeps asking for the clip because people been calling him. And I haven't given him the clip yet, but I did show you a picture, Andre. Give me some love. Give me some love. So well, whenever well, you come to New York, know, come hang out with us. Look at that. Well, please. I'm not coming back to LA. Andre's uh-huh. many applications went through the roof, says MM. Uh, Don <laughs> Trees. <laughs> hey, MM. Don Trees likes your full wig today, Sherry. Uh, <laughs> January says Kim Beyonce. and Sherry and Andre are brother and sisters. That's why they talk to him like that. <laughs> MM said women went out like, to adopt kids just then. to have Andre be their manny. I, I miss hanging out because Andre and Kim would come over to the house because I live five minutes away from Kim. If you went about 80 or 90 miles an hour, if you went drove the way Kim drove, it took about 10 minutes to get to me. But I literally was five minutes away. And they would come over and just hang out all night. And we would have, or I would go over to Kim's and Andre would come over or I would go to Andre's because my oven was broken. So he would bake my muffins. That sounded quite nasty. Yeah, he you did. Bake my Didn't you do that, Manny? <laughs> so I, I miss <laughs> cupcakes. You miss cupcakes. Yourself. I miss hanging out with them because we would hang out all night and have so much fun. Uh, just I had my great moments of peeing on myself at your I'm house. Sorry? <laughs> did he at least pay extra for that? <laughs> You make me laugh so much. You remember that one podcast we did? What we did that live, and I couldn't stop laughing, and I wet my pants. We all remember. We all remember <laughs> very clearly. <laughs> Quite clear. It's it, there's video evidence. I, I watch it once I a know. week. There is video evidence. And mud banging. <laughs> we muck bang. Muck bang. <laughs> Okay. Wait, before the time, we before just the used time. to we just used to have fun because we live we all live so close Jesus. so we i miss that i miss fun. y'all for that reason that I'm out here. Well, we don't want you to come back because you're so successful and the show is doing well <laughs> don't you don't you bring your ass back here stay right there in new york keep doing what you're doing we can come visit and we'd hate for you to say something wrong and become more popular <laughs> wow <laughs> We'll be right back. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this, this. Kim, I Not, can I? Br- sorry. No, I won't see you when you come to LA. How about that? You already said you won't no, be around. I, so, I, <laughs> because no, he's got to be let show. in. Andre uh, and him. Sorry. No, no, no. I was saying because I got comedy shows all month long. Uh, get a flyer to why. prove it. Uh, I do have a, me and Andre will be in Atlanta uh, tomorrow with Henry Coleman. There we are at the Comedy uh, Theater. We start, it's tomorrow our first show. I could have yeah. put you on the flyer. Yeah, you uh, but uh, tomorrow, uh, I don't need any Friday I'll re- I'll and Saturday, read it if you want. Andre yeah. is going to host and uh, Henry Coleman is going to, uh, head, not headline, was it feature? And then Kim Whitley, look at that picture. That looked like this. Oh, y'all better laugh. <laughs> Or I won't be invited back. That's what that looks like. That is what you call the sitcom pose. <laughs> that is the sitcom pose. <laughs> I, I'm That's not. I'm not intimidating. <laughs> it is. That, it's always this. That is so funny. Please, the comedy theater, uh, get your tickets at the in at Atlanta. The I love that you are back on the yeah. road. We have you a know, full the one great thing flyer about too. Sorry, go and ahead, that flyer, And you guys go support Kim and you can go to her IG at Kim Whitley because she's got a whole uh, list of tour dates. The great thing about being a stand-up is, you know, as an actor, we're on strike and so not able to yeah. do TV or film, but you can always do stand-up. Like, if you're not, if you yeah. get black ball today, oh, like Andre was saying, right you now. get to go there back and do stand-up. Here's Kim, you don't have a website or anything that they could go to? They just have to go to your IG page to see the your date. I, you know, I keep forgetting the link tree. I don't know if uh, it's there. Joy has put that together. Uh, they can buy tickets. Uh, but we got riddles. I'm going to riddles because you told me to. 
uh, Dana yes. Williams, because you loved Riddles in Chicago. Oh, I'm about to tickets Chicago. for my family. We're going to Chicago. Let's see, there we go. There's not that. Chicago list on this. So this. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the dates listed. Wait, oh, Chicago's not on that one? No. Oh, then you got the wrong one. Oh, my goodness. Please don't put that. Then there's Riddles. When are you uh, Riddles? Sorry. Uh, December, I'll tell you right now, Riddles, I will be in Chicago because Damon Williams will kill me. He said, you don't have Riddles up there on your little calendar, on your little calendar. I will be in Riddles uh, at this, on the 8th and 9th of December in Chicago. So come on out and see Kim and I on the 8th and 9th of December, my hometown, Chicago. And then when are we going to be in Cleveland? Oh, right. I'll Cleveland's bet you're there. No, is it November 2nd. How about we do this? We'll do a classic flyer reading. November 2nd through the 4th, guess who's at the ATL Comedy Theater? That is Kim and Andre. 17th and 18th, Kim is in Cleveland, Ohio at Improv Comedy Club. December 1st, Louder Hill Performing Arts Center in Louder Hill, Florida. December 2nd, Fisk University, Nashville, Tennessee. Go follow Kim on Instagram. You'll see all this. You know, it's such a trick because when Kim and I did uh, Bethesda, Maryland, we had two sold-out shows, and we were at the Bethesda Comedy Club, and Kim typically would yeah. go first, and I'll close it out. And I sat and looked at this girl, and I was like, "Yeah, she been working." Kim was on that stage pacing and had and was like, la, 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 like a dag on machine gun. And I said, "I'm too sleepy for this mess. This this right here, I am too tired. To he is going to make me work, huh?" No, because I you told mean, Kevin was who was the role show. manager. What uh -huh. that got to do with it? I said it's to hard. Kevin, I was like. <laughs> No, but you was doing so well and was making me work. I said to Kevin, make sure she ain't on the next show. She she can't go on the road with me. <laughs> okay, that is, I've said that about people, but you can't never get rid of me, so I ain't worried about that. Oh, my mom you was said so good. That I was so good. proud of you. My you. You told me too, and that made me feel good because I have been trying to work because I'm always nervous. I'm nervous about Atlanta. What did your mom say? Uh, she wanted to know if she can come on the show on the 19th or the 20th. And she wanted to talk to you about how you why were in Maryland. She, and why did she uh, come to the show in Maryland? Because I wasn't in Maryland on the show. But why didn't you invite her? Wow. I didn't know your mom was in Maryland. I thought she was in Chicago. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she moved there. Andre said nothing to us. You didn't tell Whoa. us, Andre. We would have had your mom in the front <laughs> row. That's your fault. That, that's fine. Look, that's, you know, now who acted funny. like a child? Because he wasn't on the show. He was like, my mama can't go. Even though his mother <laughs> loves us <laughs> separately for him. If I'm, I'm not on the show, this. my mama ain't <laughs> gone. And then when That's his mother mean, confronts him, he don't say nothing. No, it's pretty childish. Ooh, Andre. <laughs> That's so childish. No. You tell your mama, we didn't even know. We would have had your mother front and center and shouted her out. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I don't right. want to even tell her that. You want to come to the show when? Either the 19th or the 20th of December. You're going to have to oh, call. She want to come on a giveaway know. show. How's she going to get a mattress? Well, she didn't get her, yeah, she didn't get her stuff from last time, so. Maybe she can get a double what? up. Why you didn't tell me? Because <laughs> it was supposed to get mailed. Remember, it was supposed to get mailed. Wasn't it a mattress? But if it something? don't come, Andre, you got to bug me. And then I'll follow up. Because oh, okay. we had a mattress. And everybody's trying to figure out whose mattress is this? Yeah. And I didn't know whose <laughs> mattress it was. That's right. That was a mattress. <laughs> it was a mattress. Wait, and everyone's like, we, there's a mattress. Because people got to give away. His mother okay, happened you know, to come during that we week. We got a lot to cover. Week. I want to. Oh, look, I'm scratching Wait, before like a dog. You, yeah, that's kind of weird. Before you move on, before you move on, we've got a couple things to uh, to show you. So, A, congrats. Right, to, that's what I was saying. I was going to show. Okay, go ahead. There's there's Halloween. There's uh, marching. There's all kind of stuff. Absolutely. We don't have to talk about my stuff. We can talk about it another time. Well, let's see this flyer um, real fast, and we can. Uh, okay. I want to show you this, Kim. It's exciting. We'll do just a second. V. Frazier says, "Andre, what is wrong with you, Andre?" Damn. What do you mean? What's wrong with me? I don't know. Oh, I, I can't. I can't ask more. Yes. Oh no. Yeah. I think what I, I, I think I, it's like. What's wrong with you? How dare you not tell your mom about the show? I think that's what they mean. Oh. Same thing. Yes. Oh, because he he ain't he ain't on it. Oh, Kim. What is this? <laughs> You look so pretty. Kim this is oh, December. Oh, live at Riddles. Where can find that? Oh, okay. December 8th well, and 9th, if you're like in Chicago, go to Riddles. 
Doesn't Kim look like Eyewitness News at seven? I got it. You know what? That flyer. I'm going to call Damon Williams and be like, are you serious? That's that's on a ticketing. This is on a ticketing website. This is just a quick fix to give him a payoff. That's all. Oh, okay. Okay. Just want to show him some love. Check this out. That's me and Sherry. That was her first outfit. <laughs> look how what looking are you looking at, at me like that for? Because I'm like, what you got on? I was, and I was looking at your new titties. That dress didn't fit my boobs <laughs> right. I get, I, I'm, I'm got to give it away. I'm gonna give it away. It's, it's too big at the top, so it didn't oh, fit right. Yeah, that was us downstairs. Um, Kim'sCloset.com. <laughs> yep. Yep, you gotta send it so you do Kim's Closet. <laughs> Kim's Closet. I'll send it to you. It's a beautiful yeah. dress. It's a short and it's straight, but it, it just it's too big on me because I lost some weight. But uh Kim wanted to dress up. She brought this big, <laughs> huge ass hat to my hotel because we my glam was there and with all of this stuff. And I was like, what are you doing with a big top hat? Looking like something from a Stephen King novel. And she's like, I want to dress up for Halloween. Can you do my eyes ghoulish? And I said, no, because this is not a Halloween show. And we grown. And ain't no grown people going to be dressed like no damn mm-hmm. Halloween. And mm-hmm. yes, I was mean. I was very mean. I was irritable because I hadn't got any sleep all night. And Kim told me she was not going to have sleep no on the train like you were supposed to sleep. You were supposed to sleep, sleep on the train, the train but you run your mouth. She can't stop talking. This coming so from Kim the woman instead, who dressed like a aluminum foil ball for Beyonce. She did dress like a little right. This is about we're not gonna dress. But Chris, show that picture I sent you. We're well, not you, gonna dress which for one? the Halloween. Uh the Sherry picture I sent you. That, right. the other one. It was on her show. I tell you just texted me. Oh, okay. But, so Logan, it is the um it is the this look at me. Yeah. It's this one. Okay, yeah, show that she, that photo. Yeah. Yeah, show that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's what I took. I said, look at this fool right here. I, was... I, said, I don't understand. You can always tell when Sherry thinks she fine. When I tell y'all, when you're watching the Sherry show, you going to know when she thinks she is it. And you're going to see the difference when she's like, it's okay. She be sitting in her little outfit. Baby, she had this on. This heifer was prancing like a damn Clydesdale horse. <laughs> She was going up and down and around and swinging that damn hair. I, I said, her neck going to hurt tomorrow. <laughs> this little red outfit, I had to get that pose. I said, look at this fool. She got her legs cocked open, arms up in the air. No, you understand. She was Beyonce for that moment right there. For all three seconds that she danced. Look at that. Because she was look, tired look, afterwards. Look, oh, yeah, she was. She was tired. Look at her like, don't even look like Sherry. I don't know who that oh, is. She's on, a, she's on a different spiritual plane. I ain't yes, studying none of y'all. Yes. Look at this. Look at Tina. Ain't... Yeah, Tina. I'm not studying. Yeah. That's Tina Knowles. Tina Knowles came on. Look at um, Look at can I tell y'all? What is that? That was go back. I, go back. Go I back. had six outfit changes. That was from Ivy Park. Uh, Beyonce's line. It was blinged out uh, with uh, crystals, and they had oh. made the hat for me. And uh, so it was six outfit changes that we had for Halloween. And Andre, you are absolutely right. That dance tired me out so bad. <laughs> that no, was a bumblebee costume. Me. It was a no, bumblebee you know, costume. Every time, I was like, how does Sherry not put in a moment for breath? Mm-hmm. What you do? I said, I got to teach her how to do this because you know I run out of breath. I said, you got to, you can't start that talking, one right there. This one right here. And when she put her <laughs> hand down, it looked like her hand because she put her hand over there every now and then to check her. I don't know what she was checking, but she I'm put yelling. her hand on her stomach. Yeah, and it was cracking me up because it looked like the other hand. I said, she got a lot of hands down there. <laughs> <laughs> so day. we recreated. We recreated this suit. And if you want to know exactly what the suits were and who made them, you can go to Willie the Third. He posted it. Yeah, this was good. Look at it. She knew it. My little like, booty. I ain't got no booty, but I love my booty. Look at it. She like, like, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Face. That's the a, face. That's a, as someone who grew up riding horses for forever, uh, did you get saddle sore? How how were you? How were you no, after they being made up on me, They made me this beautiful, soft. It was the softest. Uh, saddle I had ever sat in, but the horse came from Wayfair. <laughs> it was the horse came from Wayfair. It was, but it didn't look like that. It was a brown life-size horse, 
and our set director, Michael Lee, it took three days. Wow. He hand glued mirror tiles on the horse what? so that it resembled uh, Beyonce's horse, Renee. What? I call my horse Nay Nay. And <laughs> you got to do it right, though. Nay Nay. <laughs> And then uh, I wanted to show you there was a dress that Angela Dean had made. Um, I was let me see if I can find it. Uh, Angela Dean made a made a whore, a um, oh they put words over the dress, so I can't show you the they dress that Angela Dean back. made. No, they can't take. No, we're no, gonna they... keep the horse. It's huge. It's it's it looks just like Beyonce's horse. It, so no welfare one. I know just what you like or need. Uh, they're not going to take it back, but what we're going to do is put it where the audience comes in to sit. They'll be able to take pictures with the horse because it's it's all mirrored. It, it's beautiful. amazing and it's huge. I was I was. But can it... I take? Can I briefly tell you the story of how it came to be? I, for mm -hmm. Halloween is a big deal for talk shows. They work on that, you know, and because those are typically the the shows that you submit for an Emmy, much as we do our NAACP Image Award. We take a our best show. So the Emmy, usually you submit that type of show. And I went to the head of the Sherry I show. And I said, could I be, I want to be Beyonce. And the initial uh -huh. answer was no, because they thought that every talk show, Sonny Hostin, Tamron Hall, uh -huh. Cheryl Underwood, they thought everybody, Chanel from the Today Show, Robin Roberts, they thought everybody was going to want to be Beyonce. And they felt so many people were going to be Beyonce. So they said no. So I went back to my glam team, Rodney, John, and Theo, mm -hmm. and Willie. They were so disappointed because they had already started envisioning how this would be, Renaissance. And I said, they said too many people are going to be Beyonce. And all three said, but Sherry, they're not going to do Beyonce the way you would do Beyonce. And I went, you know what, you're right. And that's why I learned you got to tap into your strengths because nobody can do what you do. So I went back to them and I said, nobody going to do Beyonce the way I do it. They'll have Beyonce, but the way I want to do Beyonce, I want to do a dance for Blue Ivy. I want, you know, uh, and then I said, can we get Tina Knowles? Rodney John was like, we should get Tina Knowles. Reach for the sky. And we worked on getting Tina Knowles and Beyonce is very protective of her mother. She's very protective of, of her mother. So we had to go through her camp and uh, her, her people said yes. And so we got Miss Knowles. Y'all know Miss Tina. And then she had an outfit that Beyonce had given her, which was exciting because that meant Beyonce was actually kind of de facto a part of this. And at the last minute, they said, I had the red jumpsuit on. Is that a word? Is that a word? Okay. What? Red. Nothing. I don't oh, de facto? No, you put. I thought you put another part in front of the de facto. I thought no, you said Tanto de facto. facto. Okay. But at the last minute, they said Tina changed her outfit and they showed me and it was the actual red jumpsuit that we had recreated. And they were like, uh -huh. oh no, it's the same outfit. And I said, this is perfect because we'll be on stage in the same outfit. And Tina, when she saw my outfit, she was like, I'm calling my daughter, and I was like, oh my gosh, you calling Beyonce? So while Tina was on the show, they were texting Beyonce live updates on what was going on. And I said, oh my gosh, Beyonce watching it, Jay-Z watching it, they didn't pull Blue Ivy out of school. The two girls that ain't in the group no more, Latavia and Latasha watching it. Kelly, I mean, many, I was like really, so- really, You really thought that many people from the family, really? That's okay. Is, right. well, yeah, and I'm gonna tell you why, Kim. Because Tina Knowles don't do daytime TV. If your mother or your dad was on mm. daytime TV, are you telling me the whole family wouldn't be watching? Yeah, Thank you. Watching. Thank you. Okay. Tina don't do right, daytime. Right. This is Beyonce's mother. This ain't her distant cousin on the second side, third remove. Did you so, tell her I said hello? Did you tell her I said hello? I'll be there. I'm... Kim, it's the second it time. So and on. I need Lil Rail's number. I don't know if I got. Let me see if I got Lil Rail. All right. Rail's while you guys number. play <laughs> cell phone tag on here, how about I Andre and up. Kim? How about Andre and Kim at Halloween? I told you I wanted to tell Lil Rail something. Oh, yeah. That was last night. Uh, oh. That was pre, uh, pre, pre fart? You were shaft. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was a uh, uh, run, run DMC. Run DMC. 
Run, run GMC. And I had all OGMC. the crowd. <laughs> I wish I had you look cute, Kim. I I oh, thank Wait, God. I'm I sorry. Huh? Y'all started putting on pictures, and I didn't get to tell you. Kim actually did look amazing because they. I don't want people thinking I stopped you from wearing your Halloween outfit, and then we go back to this one. No, Kim wore the top hat. Yeah. No, but I'm saying once Kim put the top hat on and her makeup, she looks so beautiful. And then she can't. Let me tell y'all something. Kim brought it to Bethesda. She put on a see-through lace jumpsuit so all you saw was her black panties hey and now. her black bra you could see through it and then she put on a long black duster when i tell you she looked like a sexy stevie nicks she looked so sexy and i was like i take back what i said you go and do you halloween She's, me, and then she had a light up scroll purse when i tell you she looked amazing i was oh my That's gosh so i wanted to you did? Yeah, I gotta get this. I wanted to person. say that. Wait a minute. Show Joshua. Look at Josh for Halloween. Oh, he's marshmallow. Girl, he, he was he, marshmallow. He had I got a whole story with that, but we can run out of time. We got a lot to do. I'm gonna just say this quick and we're gonna talk about this next week. Look, <laughs> look, look, look who was in the hospital scary, last night. Scariest moment of Halloween. That's a scary <laughs> Halloween moment. <laughs> you know, I almost called your mother, but then you'd have been mad because I told your mother and then she'd have been tripping. Yeah. So I didn't I say I told her this morning. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I let you do that. After it's all good. Then I had I'm to make sure good. you was alive. And then I was like, Chris, okay, he can do it himself. Wait a minute. You ready? I I'm going to give you this. Hey, don't, don't forget, we do also have our support a black business feature. Yes. Bro. We got somebody on there. And then I got to go because, you know, I got to play. I sent you two more pictures. I got so an get Instagram ready for link. the two pictures. Oh, hold on, wait. Oh yeah, show, show them this girls who went as me. Show them in the purple, in the purple. Someone <sighs> sent us, they said, did you know that uh, uh, somebody went as uh, Kim? Somebody found it and sent it to me. I thought it was very Oh, that's funny. cute. They Sherry, went, you sent me an Instagram uh, link. Is that what you meant to send? I sent you an Instagram. Oh, oh you can't take the picture off of it? No, I, I can. I just want to, there's the, I don't know which, I'm going to just pull the ones we haven't seen. How I want to join and okay. Tina Knowles. Okay. The one of no. Look at that. Look at this. this. Okay. That's somebody going as me. Somebody look at that. That's hilarious. Mr. Nasty Time. That's me. Somebody went as me and DC Curry (laughs) and next Friday. Okay, that's funny. Oh, that's great. And Uncle L. There was hilarious. You said that. You said the one with you and John. Yes. Okay. This is the podcast. And there was one. I wanted. I'm sending you one. There was one of Winnie Harlow, the supermodel. Did you see she oh. went as Cat Williams? That was funny. No. Winnie Harlow, uh, Cat Williams joke about you got to get a white friend. She she lipped. She did the, he had, it was Cat's voice and she was doing it and she dressed as Cat Williams. I don't, I'm going to put it up. Oh, I. Hilarious. I just, oh, okay. Wow. That's hysterical. I thought, well, no, Chris, you can put it up. I okay. just, it was so funny. She did really well. Wait, here's, some more, uh, so here's some more Let photos, Logan. I'm uploading them now. Well, you, so I could tell Sherry just real quick while you upload. Sherry, and watch Sherry's reaction. So Joshua was Marshmallow Man, right? And let me make him turn my phone on because he out at the mall. Uh, so he was Marshmallow Man. And then his friends the others said no joshua we don't want you to go as marshmallow man you got to go as a with us and you're going to be our gangster rapper so joshua look at her face look at her face, look at her face. wait wait so joshua comes home gets a ski mask a or some bandana and he turned his hat backwards and he said my friends I'm going with, with their at their house and I'm gonna be a gangster rapper. I said, you're supposed to be marshmallow. I said, whoa, the whole house was like, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not dressing like that. And on Halloween, no, you're not. He said, but my friends, the others, I said, you they have no idea. You can't do that. So I said, okay, Joshua, we argue, argue, just trying to explain to him the history, and you can't do that. He does it, right? We said, go ahead, go and take that then. Then ride in the car over there, because I knew it wasn't gonna last long. He gets there, soon as she lets him out. What does Joshua do? 
he runs up to his friend's house and bangs on the window dressed like that. I said, I be. So immediately I called the mother. I said, um, I, my son, uh, I, I said, I understand that, you know, the kids are supposed to be Marshmallow Man and, and your son and other kids said they're going to go as gangster rappers. I said, your son can go as a gangster rapper. I said, the little uh, black child, I said, he can't go as a gangster rapper. I said, you understand? She and me, I said, you understand the danger on Halloween night with a ski mask on and a bandana and him running around? Immediately, she was like, you're absolutely right. I, you know, you're absolutely right. I am, I understand. And then I said, but it, there was a little hesitation. I said, I need you to take the ski mask, the bandana and the hat from him. She immediately said, I understand. I said, your son can do what he want to do. I said, the young black man that you have in your house can't do any of that. She took, put all the stuff on the counter, took a picture of it and sent it to me. She said, I have all the things in possession. He has on his marshmallow head. Do you, you know, it's t teaching your kids because Jeffrey wanted to go as Michael Myers. And I was trying to explain to him that, Jeffrey, because you're 18 and you look like a man, you're going to look like you want to rob somebody. And, and they're not, and he said, but why do the eight year olds get to wear it? And I was trying to explain to him, it's different, Jeffrey, when you do it. So he, he was top gun, reluctantly. But it's something, he looked like Andre. That's what he was dressed it like. Was, oh, that was cute. But it's the truth though. This was the problem too. Why can't he just be a rapper? Why they tell him to be a gangster rapper? Why couldn't he be Jay-Z, you know? What were these kids? How old were they? Kim? They were all young. Twelve. Twelve. They're all twelve, and so they're not distinguishing Jay Z from. You know, I don't even know who a gangster rapper is. There's a couple. They're in jail. But well, go ahead. <laughs> or in the ground. One or the other. Or in the ground. Right. That's some gangster rappers. Right. I mean, these are the labels. They actually have them on the album. This is gangster rap. What's you know, the so teeth? this is what they hear. You know the consumers of rap be these little kids right. that are and that, not us. Boom. And so I just want to this is up. You're right. So we're teaching them. It's the term that they hear because they're young kids. They hear it and they use it. And who they see are gangster rappers. What they're putting together and they're cr being critical theory in their head is gangster rapper is a black person. So you it's Halloween. Oh, so oh, you know it's a gangster oh, rapper because you're the only black friend that we have. So I don't think they meant it in, um, it, you know, uh, with the hidden agenda because they're young, no, but it no. is one of those teachable moments where you and the mother maybe explain to them. I don't know if they will get it because they 12, you know. Well, I'm about to pick them up from the mall and I'm going to explain it. You're right. I should. You're absolutely right. What if they say I don't? But I don't know if they're going to get it because I, and that would be something Andre could weigh in on because they're young boys. Mm -hmm. If they'll get it at twelve, that this is a stereotype, and you know they just want candy, and they like rap. So I think Andre, they and wouldn't even get it if you try. Hmm? Like Joshua may benefit from the explanation from Andre because he's a man. There's some stuff right. Jeffrey listened to Andre about. Because Andre could, you know, Andre could explain it to Jeffrey. I explained my neck be moving, which is a trigger for Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. I didn't, Je neck movement, Jeffrey don't like. But I tend to, t I talk to Andre anyway. My neck is always moving. It's in my DNA. But it don't resonate with Jeffrey. So it might okay. be better for you to let Andre explain it to Joshua why he should not wear a gangster rap uh, right. costume. Wait, wait, well, so can you go with me to pick them up from the mall and explain? Wait, when you leave? No, because he got now? gas right now. He still got he got gas. He can't go right now. Are you packed? His stomach's no. good. Oh Lord. Is your stomach you hard? Feel your stomach. Is the no, stomach hard? I'm, I'm, I'm good. I, it was I, in his chest. It was in my chest. It was a I open. said belch. It was over to where his heart is not. It was on the the right I'm side. For you. If I pay for you to get some colonics, will you get them, Andre? I think you need some colonics. Oh, oh I just had two. Most amazing. Thing. Amazing. Is, is your whole thing clear?
Yeah. Oh, I thought it was tied in a knot at the top. No. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm tripping. <laughs> okay, I know you know black wait, you know what? Wait, wait. What? The strike is still going on. We were talking about acting. That was a thing that Kim's. We could never talk about our products. But we went out in March today, and Joshua and his friend Tyler, after a long night of of of, of picketing, and Erlene and we all were on the picket line. Um, uh, this this morning, so it is still going on strong. I want everyone to know the writers might have settled theirs, but the actors are still out there. We were at Walt Disney today, and it was packed. Do you have it, Chris? We do. Okay, good. Brandon well, told me he saw you. Brandon, I didn't yeah. know who he was. I thought he was a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hello. Go ahead. Look at us. Striking with the kids. Yeah. Hey, y'all gotta get some energy. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, Josh, why are y'all doing? Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Say why? Trick or treat? Something? I don't know. <laughs> That's hilarious. I love That's it. Tight. Teach the kids activism young. Yeah. Yes. I absolutely love thing. it. Love it. Oh, you guys, That's watch out. Michael Che came on the show today. They literally went. Yeah. Michael? Michael Che is very funny. Very funny. Hilarious. Does he have All of the people who have been rating the top guests on our show have been comics. Michelle Buteau, uh, Lil Rel, Cat Williams. Um, I'm missing another comic. All rating is the top guest on our show. People want to laugh. I guess I'll just hit real. I'm just a black like business now. Yeah. I was trying to get in touch with Lil Rail, but it's fine. Oh, you can get in touch with Lil Rail. I don't need to give you his number. You got it. Oh, look at this. I thought I, I had it. Why are you on Instagram? I was do you want it or little... do you not want it? Yes, I got to send it. Tell him how good he was on your show. I thought I had it. I used to. Did you, did you watch He's engaged. Movie? Rel is engaged to be married. Yes, I, I love his fiance. She was on your show and she was so funny. So I got to tell Rel that. So on the show, I asked Rel, he's on tour called the Best Friends Tour with his best friend, Tiffany Haddish. And I said, tell us about the tour. And he was talking about, you know, he how he loves being on tour with his best friend because they're both busy. And I said to Rel, well, this there's a girl who may not be your best friend, but she been there with you through thick and thin. You know, you didn't talk to her about wanting to be married and she been holding you down. And I'm just saying, Rel, maybe you could go on tour with her. Now, speaking about myself, he looked at me in true comedian fashion. He goes, well, Kim Whitley is available. I, when I tell you. It was I said, so right. funny. Yeah, that was pretty funny. I like to I say it was touche. Touche, my friend. That was funny too. Okay. The police. Are we going to do in a black business? Yeah, I'm ready because we know you want to say some comments. Here. Yeah, I don't know where Chris went. Just giving you a little space to. Nope, didn't. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely didn't, but thank you for that. Shout out to everybody in the comments. There's almost a thousand of you watching. That's amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in. A uh, couple questions, and then we'll get to our black business feature. Uh, Jennifer wants you to go on the pivot. Sherry uh, Felicia says Michael's funny without trying. Yvette Thomas says love Cat Williams on the Sherry Show. Uh, Country Rain was hilarious. Sherry says January LL Cooper or L Cool Cooper. Cat and Sherry had chemistry. Argelis, uh, Sherry, when is Trevor Noah coming on your show? Mm. There's a TikTok of Lenny Kravitz looking at a clip of me talking about him. He put it's a great it on answer TikTok. to that question. <laughs> oh, it was on TikTok. That's right. I got to see that. I got to I had to down. Huh, what happened? Bunch when is people. Trevor Noah coming on? There you go. Your guess is as good as mine. I dare, like, in contact with him all the time. He's very selective about what he does. He does a lot of nighttime, not so much daytime. So they're trying. Everybody Lady wants Kravitz Kim. has been a scheduling thing, huh? 
Didn't mean to interrupt. Everybody wants Kim to come back on your show. That's what no. uh, what Who else did you talk no. about? Oh, you talking about me? Oh, for me to come back on her show. That Thank you for saying that because... After the you know, smart aleck remark. She doesn't want good ratings. That's why. <laughs> she's, afraid, she's afraid to be great. Said, no. She's and afraid to be no. great. You you want me to bring the person on my show who keeps going, you know, with your little talk show. You you think you're doing with your little ratings. Question. Your little... Question. Would you turn your phone off during uh, the Sherry show? No. Yeah, I'll turn my phone off. <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. Talking to Kim. As a guest on the Sherry oh, show, Kim. would you turn your phone off? I don't know. Uh oh, see, it's, 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 it's spread. Right, right, right. <laughs> All right. Dita Massey is our. Uh, is our special featured guest she just dropped oh, pretty, off Sherry. awesome wait do pretty. that again sherry do that again she's been practicing oh that was cute she ready look yeah, at she her she practiced bro. oh shoot she that's almost that's, that's, that that's the cover look yeah look that's the that album cover what can't be the cover of her, of her comedy special it's too cute look at that's, that. is that's there a cure is there a cure for this all right, so each and every week, thanks to our friends at Miracle Buttercream. Shout out to Cita Lewis, entrepreneur, started the business. Two Funny Mamas fans helped Cita grow her business. So she's given back to the TFM community, and she sponsored this each and every week, supporting a black business, small businesses, growing. All of you all amazing fans have supported all these great businesses so well. Cita wanted to keep it going. So each week, Cita and Miracle Buttercream present different businesses. Uh, do we have her back on? No, nope, we've lost her. She was there. I think she got tired of waiting. Uh, I'll text her. Uh <laughs> So we'll do black business here in a oh, minute. We and she's back. We had she's back. So long. We've got her. Okay. She's got Sorry Bixa Beauty. That. Here, you want to hear about her? Let's learn a little bit more. Yes. Uh, hailing from the south side of Chicago. Hey, Sherry. She's the founder and CEO of Real Beauty Incorporated and Bixa Beauty Incorporated. 25 years ago, she took a leap of faith by leaving her 9-to-5 job as an advocate for abused, neglected children with the Cook County Public Guardian's Office, moved to L.A., started a career as a makeup artist in TV and film while living in L.A., did a quickly landed opportunities working on music videos and more. Uh, all kinds of great, great uh, stuff like Netflix Beats, Widows, and more that she's worked on. So currently, she is pushing Bixa Beauty. It's a vegan-friendly luxury beauty brand. Initial product lip line of 16 highly pigmented colors. GMO-free, paraben-free, and cruelty-free. Here's a big part. This is really exciting. 10% of every product purchase empowers educational opportunities and entrepreneurial development for young women through their partnership with the Uzuma Center in Mwanza, Tanzania incredible and she's going to tell you more about that right now she's sherry's friend she'll surely be yours be sure to uh check out bixa beauty hello dita hi hi everybody oh, hi, girl i'm surprised you i'm surprised you're not asleep <laughs> <laughs> waiting no, on us dita. Hi, hey. we're sorry dita we haven't talked in a long time and then Andre jumped on and, and was talking about him. He, Andre's from Chicago, too. And so hey, we Andre. apologize. We're not, we not professional. We're not professional. We're not professional. But look how good your Bix and Lipstick looks. It didn't even hey. fade. Look at my I, got, I didn't get none of that. You got to send me some of that. Kim, I got to make sure you get some of this. <laughs> I got to make no, sure. This is, Jane, nope. this is Jane Doe and spoiler alert. Ooh, All right. Right. You like it, Andre? Pretty. She said, you like it, Andre? Oh, yeah. yeah. Look, Andre can't say nothing. He mesmerized <laughs> by your lips. By your lips. He gets mesmerized by lips. He don't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on? Don't tell him everything. So, what'd you say, Andre? They don't tell him everything. Don't put it all out there. Yeah. What, wait, what's your website? I want to go to it. It's um, www.bixa, B as in boy, I-X-A, bixabeauty.com. So you do lip balms and lipsticks? Yes, I, I have, I have, I, I have lipsticks. I have a lip balm for men, lip balm for women and children. Yep, so our lip balms actually um, helps with our, um, 
our proceeds in, uh, at the Uzima Center, as Chris mentioned, in, in Bawanza, Tanzania. So we're doing a campaign you? now. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Sherry. I want the campaign. I oh, if we're, we're, we're trying to get, we need 1,500 people to purchase one lip balm for $8. And those wow. 1,500 people will be featured at the Uzima Center, and it sends 23 girls to school. Now, one buy, okay. buy a lipstick? <laughs> Here, I'm going to let me read, uh, I'll read this real quick. Bixen needs 1,500 people to purchase one lip balm. That's only one, eight bucks. That's all you have to spend. Your purchase helps 23 girls attend secondary school in Tanzania and assist with transportation, school supplies, and lunch. You can be the change you wish to see in the world. That change starts with you. And check it out at bixabeauty.com. Can it. I say this? It's kind of a okay. two parter. Uh, the reason why I admire Dita so much. Because of the actor strike, Dita is also on strike. So Dita works for various productions of TV shows that you have heard of, big TV shows that shoot in Chicago. And the TV shows actually started with the word Chicago. Boy, am I hoping in Chicago. Boy, it's a fire in Chicago. <laughs> Woo, police department, the PD coming in Chicago. You know, she's done movies that have uh, taken place in Chicago and shows so you know dita has also i think people think dita that the strike just affects the actors but it also affects the makeup artists as well yeah. and so Dita is also going through, yeah. what the actors are going through of you know livelihood being put on hold because of this strike mm -hmm. but what i've always admired about dita is you also went into the public schools and you would talk mm -hmm. to the girls in the chicago school system about self-esteem and worth and you were sending is this the website kim uh-huh i've been looking at it because i want i, I want i do so do can we buy lipstick or just lip oh. um the people in the school so you <laughs> can you, <laughs> you can buy lipstick you can buy lip balm you can buy all okay. of it we take it all everything <laughs> but, but that's no, all you, go ahead I want our listeners and viewers to understand that so they can just buy and it's still yes. sending the women to school, not just lip balm. That <laughs> is correct. Yeah, it's all, it's correct. all the products, but she was just starting with the lip balm, you know? Okay. And, and so Dita was sending girls in the inner city schools. She was getting them on the road to college. And these were girls in the inner city schools at typically Dita went into the schools that were having the most problems with graduation rates with young girls. Dita's always had a heart. This is why I love her so much. She's always had a heart for girls and self-worth and esteem. And so she was helping the girls in the inner city schools. And a lot of the girls would say to Dita Kim all the time, you know, Dita, I want to be like you. I want to make that money. You know, there was all I want know how I make the money. And Dita would always really <laughs> talk to them about it's more than the money. It's how you feel about yourself. And girls actually, girls actually graduated because she was steering them to college. And then she calls me. She says, I'm going to Tanzania. I always got these girlfriends that God be telling them to go to weird places. I said, why don't you just go to the south side and help some more girls? She said, no, I'm going to Tanzania. Can you talk about why you decided to take, you know, create create your line and why you decided you wanted to help the girls in tanzania sure and i just bought spoiler alert i just bought spoiler alert yes your order just came through thank you <laughs> thank you kim um well, damn, I'm a so too. so right. okay so let's see is that a good is that a good color i'm sorry is that a good color should i get something else? <laughs> it doesn't matter for the love yeah, of god let her talk <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, what you got on what what color I got is on my on my so this color is called jane doe see jane go ahead talk let her talk okay <laughs> but spoiler jane alert is a pretty color I'm spoiler sorry, alert in jane doe yeah, talk about the girls in Tanzania. Okay, so us. the girls in Tanzania, right? So we have been in um in a village called Mwanza, Tanzania, for twelve years. And so what we did, we took the curriculum inside Chicago Public Schools and we translated it into Swahili. 
And um, we took the same curriculum and we implemented it there at the Uzima Center. And so wow. it culturally, it was a little different because those girls had different issues going on in Africa. And so we would go in and teach them about entrepreneurial, you know, development things that they can do to help uh, bring money into their homes. And so um, they needed more hygienic products. Um, they don't wear tampons, they wear sanitary napkins. So there is a lack of resources out there. And so that's what we came in as a conduit, Real Beauty. Um, Real Beauty, my organization, helped the girls go to school on a secondary level. And then Bixa Beauty, the proceeds, helped them go to school on a university level. And so we still go back. I was there this last December. Um, we provided um, hygienic products to them. Um, and we also, you know, do implement our curriculum and, and do things with them to help them succeed and be successful in their village and, and housing and their families and things of that nature. And we also help with transportation because a lot of these girls walk to school. And so we want to provide transportation for them so that they don't have to walk so far to go to school. You know, it's very interesting when you talk about going outside the country, things that we take for granted. We yes. take for granted that we're just going to go in our cabinet and have a bunch of sanitary napkins. Yeah. I know, Andre, this is the last thing you want to be hearing. But we, we just take for granted basic items that we just have. Mm -hmm. And you go to a country and they, the girls don't have those. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. something as little as that. And I love that you also teaching the girls in Tanzania uh entrepreneurship so you were teaching them because also these girls have to take care of their family and a lot of times they're not able to go to school because they got to get out and work to take care of their family and so you're yes. you're teaching them your organization is teaching the girls skills that will empower them mm -hmm. uh, they made some beautiful bracelets for me and i love that you are you're using your cosmetic line to also benefit these girls in tanzania uh, is there a reason why you picked Tanzania as opposed to the people on 95th and Stony Island Avenue? <laughs> <laughs> well, we, you know, Sherry, Sherry, you know, like real beauty has been, um, in Chicago for 17 years and it's, yes. and we still, we still, you know, mentor those girls. We're still present. Um, but we wanted to create a more of a presence in Africa because again, like you said, they, you know, they, let's just keep it real. We take things for granted sometimes over here in America. <laughs> and so, yeah. you know, you know, um, those girls over there are very grateful and appreciative. And so we just wanted just to spread the love and just go to Tanzania. And so when I saw a girlfriend I had met on a music video in Los Angeles while doing makeup, she's one of my dear friends. She asked me one day, she said, how can I help with real beauty? And I said, you know what? I want to start a school like Oprah in Africa. And she was like, what? And everybody so want to be like, everybody want to be like Oprah. <laughs> and so she had connections over because her husband's from Zanzibar. And so she had connections in Africa. And so that's how um, the school came about because the Uzima Center was looking for a curriculum in America for a girl program. And that's how we were implemented there. Wow. Now you said that your your cosmetic line, you created it is vegan free, vegan friendly, free. Oh, vegan friendly. Did you, <laughs> you say gluten free, Sherry? Is that what you said? GMO free? No, I said I said vegan friendly, GMO free, paraben free, cruelty free. That well, Kim can't get she cruel to Andre all the time. You, you yeah. Know, so you can Bella the ball. Right. So, like so, so Bella the ball is one of our top sellers, and we also have it in a sample form like this for holidays. Oh, for oh nice! Bags. Yeah, for swag bags, and then on the back is a little bit about the mission and a QR code that'll take you, you know, right to the website. Oh, cute! So, so is that on the website? The little sample thing? No, you just have to DM me. I don't have it on there yet. <laughs> But okay, so so sample. far I have purchased. If I purchase a bundle, does that mean a, a few girls is going? I got Hey Miss <laughs> Parker. I bought Hey, hey Miss Parker. Parker. I bought Tickle Pink. I got the Bixa Fall Collection. 
and and um so i'm gonna buy another let me see i'm gonna get something else and i'm gonna give this to one of our followers um let me see chris loves it when i say i'm gonna give it to one of our followers because we got over seventy thousand followers i want to get the orange family more collection. than that all together way more than that. <laughs> So deal oh, breaker is uh deal breaker is a color that we recently uh reformulated for the first day of summer this year. It's a very beautiful tangerine orange. Okay. You so you is, there anything, uh, orange. is there anything is there anything for men other than the car? Wait, say that if you use that Andre or Chris. Oh, yeah. first, no, I would I would never have such a callous delivery in my question in a, on a great <laughs> segment like that. Andre, <laughs> Andre, show her some excitement. You're like, hey, give it, Andre. Here we go. Let's let's take two, take two. Here we go. There you go. She's at the desk with with the gray fox. So, other than uh, lip balm, <laughs> what other products do you have for men? Now, now look into her eyes. <laughs> What else would you be putting on your lips besides lip balm? My man. What do you want? You want a lip scrub? Well, well I mean, a it visual, might be you know a moisturizer or a mist or something. I don't know. No, but he said a mist, like a toner. <laughs> so I, that's a good question because know. next year we are, <laughs> we, are, we are taking our brand a little bit further and doing more body products. So we're going to come out with an elixir. We're going to come out with a body bomb, bomb and a bath bomb. A big um, bath bomb. Hey. So you, oh, you, got to it. you got a color over here called Penelope and also Sugar Plum. That's cute. Now Sugar Plum Ooh, is a cutie. Jane Doe. I see Jane Doe. I just bought. I just bought Jane Doe. I just bought Jane Doe. Let me put that in there. Okay, so where did Kim somebody? Is... <laughs> Kim, let's let me tell you about our podcast. Listen, let me tell you a little bit our podcast. <laughs> When Dita was like, I'd love to be, this is, this is the podcast, Dita, we get to you so you can explain what this is. And then Kim will walk off periodically. Then she comes back, she'll buy something. Then she just walk off all together. And <laughs> in the chair, just empty. It's, it's all good. I'm, it's all good. I'm rolling we, with y'all. We, I love, and so again, everybody, our followers, Bix of Beauty, this is a black owned business. Uh, Dita, has found it, created, runs it. Uh, she has folks helping her, but it is really the you know part of the proceeds. Pro, uh, 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 what, what? Welcome to fifty six. You know, uh, benefits. Look at all of this lipstick, and I just ordered a bunch of it. Uh, benefits young ladies in Tanzania to help them become entrepreneurs, to give them confidence, to go beyond, to get schooling, to get basic. Uh, uh, things for them to live and survive, but she not only yeah. wants to give to them, she wants to teach the girls how to fish. She, you know, she goes out to Tanzania many times to teach these girls skills to be able to, you know, they can take care of themselves where they're not relying on someone to take care of them. And I love that about Dita. I love the fact that she uses her cosmetic line to really make a difference in young girls' lives. Also in the inner city in Chicago. And Dita is also a celebrity makeup artist. She's done my face several times, which is how I met you. Cause I was yes. doing something with Common, the rapper Common, his foundation, cause he's shot town and you first did my makeup. And I loved you from the moment I met you. Dita is like, one of those people that always sees a silver lining in everything. The world could be crashing at your feet and Dita will still be <laughs> laughing and having a good time. And I love <laughs> folks like that around me. And, um, you know, we definitely wanted to support your business. So please, I encourage our subscribers and our followers and people that know Kim and I, we don't bring on people who are okie doke. We bring on the real deal. And this, Dita's uh, lipstick line, it's vegan friendly, it's gluten free, it is pear, not gluten free, is GMO. <laughs> <laughs> On that it don't note. make you blow. Let me say the lipstick don't make you blow up. So it is. I, it's okay. Free. Along those lines, no Sherry, practice. you've, you've done it. It's a cruelty free. So we don't treat, we don't be treating men bad. That's what you mean by cruelty free, right? We don't treat men bad. <laughs> 
So we have an audience. Right, we don't treat men. We have an audience. <laughs> Peter's like, I don't know what this girl's talking about. <laughs> I'm just going to go and with when you buy, When you purchase big products, it helps send a girl in Tanzania. Uh, you know, helps with her basic living needs, helps her create businesses. Because we got to build up. We got to build up our future. This is our legacy. And uh, this is life. Have so and you can go comments. to Bixa. Is it BixaBeauty.com? Yep. Bixa. Yep. B-I-X-A. It's named after B-I- the plant that I found in Zanzibar. Yeah. I, I found the plant in Zanzibar. And so, yeah, oh, it's you named after the plant. With, uh, can, can you smoke the Bixa with some turkey necks? Okay. Bixa green. Uh, you know what, Cheryl? You always trying to use some type of uh, <laughs> herbs or something. No. <laughs> Something from the juice. Not only no. smoked, I mean smoked, <laughs> smoked turkey. Your mind, you see what? That's how, that's how I know what you be doing, Dita. <laughs> I'm no, I, I, no, no. I just bought. It's a so I bought the Bix of Fall collection. I bought Jane Doe. I bought the Orange Family collection. I bought Tickle Pink, and I bought Hey Miss Parker. Uh, all in one bundle. Damn. Okay, no, I'm just playing. So, Chris, who gets oh, Chris. This? who gets this whole bundle of bits of products? Now, I promise you, it's gluten free, so you will not blow it up when you put it on your lips. Breaking is in silence. Okay, go, Chris. Is there aspartame? No. Uh, Jennifer Grant <laughs> says, Chris, can you ask a person with sensitive skin with allergies use this project? Great question and timely. Oh, yes, you can. Um, yeah, it's 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 it, it doesn't have any. Um, I mean, if she's allergic to like, be- we don't have beeswax or anything like that in our products. You know, some people are allergic to bees. You know what I mean? Um, so we were careful when we curated these products not to put something like that. Um, some people have peanut allergy. We don't have anything like anything nuts or anything like that in, in the formulation. By this, I being... have to say it looks amazing on your lips. You have beautiful. You got them big, beautiful lips, girl. Golly, your lips are gorgeous. And <laughs> what color do you have on? I have on Jane Doe. And so let me just explain, Bixa. A little goes a long way. It is a lip whip. It's not a lip gloss. It's not a lipstick. It is a lip whip. So it goes on very, very light and it dries down like a mat. So it's not one of those things that you go just go in and keep going back and forth, back and forth. A little goes a long way and you just put it on. It, it's very lightweight and voila. I love it. I'm going to order me some. But for this one, Chris, this is a package. And I'm not even getting a discount on this. This is a package worth uh, $300. Slight is a little bit of a dig. <laughs> no, just, no, no, no. Tell you what, See, though, Sherry, for- if you sign up for her mailing list at bixabeauty.com, you can save. Sign up and save. Oh, so absolutely. there you go. Check it out. Uh, so more- I'm getting this ship. How are we going to determine who gets this package? Because uh, if I send it to Andre, he's going to give it to one of his oh. girlfriends. We can do a question. How about this? We can do about, a raffle. Well, you all figure that out and decide that. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> so everyone knows. Anytime we have a show and there's a guest and they have something for sale or there's an it, you can always check the YouTube description on the episode, just every single episode. Most of the time we do that. Uh, but also, no fewer than 10 times I've posted it in the live chat for the website. People keep asking, and I totally understand that part. Please just check the live chat. It's in the description and support. And obviously, you can go to Instagram, but yeah, it's bixabeauty.com. Just want to clear that up because there's so many people asking. So that's a really good and, uh, sign. Thank you. Sorry, Chris. What's your social media handle? It We pop it up. Um, um, on Instagram, it's at bixabeauty, TikTok at bixabeauty. And Facebook okay. like us. Um, really I like that. I like that on your lips. That Jane Doe. So I ordered the Jane Doe. Yes, Jane Doe. Be a, pretty I'm on a, you, Sherry. I'm well, I'm, I'm gonna get a separate one, but this this bundle that I ordered, somebody's gonna get. Hey, Miss Parker. Hey, Miss Parker. Tickle hey, Pink. Parker. The Orange Family Collection. Jane Doe Ooh. and the Big Stuff All Collection. 
collection. So I ordered all of those and I'm gonna give put that on Chris because he's going to um get it to someone. What was the hey Chris, what's the question we can ask? Uh first you, person answer is that fair? I, I think it's whatever you say. You're the star. Let's uh let's make sure let's say uh, just tell us who you would give it to. Name it. Tell us the best, uh, or, or name your name your favorite two funny mama episode. How about that? There you go. And why? Do you want to do that? You want to just pick somebody random in the I live chat? Two funny episodes. We've done nine hundred of them. Dita, oh, what's a good question? <laughs> um, Dita, how did you come okay, up with the question. name for your lip? Your lip step. How did you come plant. up with the name? The plant. Oh yeah, yeah. So oh, ask plant. the people. How did? The first person to say in in, in the thing is that a good I one, Chris? I don't. Think How so, did but... Dita come up with the name Bixa? <laughs> oh, that's a great question. Let's see who was listening. Uh, this is. I meant the, the okay, name so of your uh, is... <laughs> colors. How did you come up with the name of the different colors? Where this part and all that? What what inspired? Where are we going here? Okay. <laughs> oh no! Wait, what Andre was question? asking? All right. right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dina, we don't sell these lipstick. We don't get these girls in Tanzania. We gonna get these girls in Tanzania some tampons. I guarantee you. I'm telling you this. Okay. Uh, uh, Lena, here we go. We got a winner. We have a we have a winner. Lenaki, Lenaki, Lenaki. Hawaiian for Lynette says a plant in Tanzania. That's your winner. Hawaiian for Lynette. That's Lenaki. Uh, email two funny mamas at gmail.com. You win uh, a prize, and we'll let Andre finish up his interview as well. Uh, and Lenicky Lenicky, wins. When we say email two funny mamas at gmail.com, do not be waiting three days because Kim checks these emails too, and she's going to try to change the email so I can send her the collection. So do so <laughs> right <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> How did you don't put that? Down. What is that? Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> Private collection. Put it down. Wait, this, I'm put asking y'all how to cook this. No, 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 no you, you'll it cook down. it all right. <laughs> this is a purple sweet potato. Hey, it's a family <laughs> show. Down. You remember that thing on Netflix? What did it tell you to keep people alive? What they say? Purple sweet potatoes. Ken Whitley. Got more. Ken Whitley. Ken Whitley. We have a guest on. Put it down. Oh, you gotta guess. Dita, this is the podcast you chose. You chose to be on this show. <laughs> I, said to you, I said, Are you willing? Do you want to come in of your own will? And you said, I do. So I do. This is your fault, Dita. This is your fault. <laughs> Dita has a brand of lip whips color that stays on. It is cruelty free, GMO free or GMO, I don't know how you say that. It is paraben free oh my God. and it's uh, vegan friendly and it's called Bixa Beauty at Bixa, be like boy, I-X-A, beauty.com. You can find her at Bixa Beauty on TikTok and social media. Um, do you have a Facebook yes. page? And on Facebook? Yes, we have Bixa like us on Facebook at Bixa Beauty, Bixa Beauty. Uh, the color yes. that she has on her, her lips right now is called Jane Doe. And uh, Lineki, Lineki, you just got a three hundred dollar package worth of lip whips. We're gonna send oh. those to you. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! They I had to do that before I had a talk show. Cool. I wasn't buying no big old. Right, you show what? <laughs> like, wow! Last time we gave a giveaway, it was fifty dollars worth, and we were struggling. Well, God is good, that. Kim. God is good. I say God is good. I gotta go fix Joshua some dinner, and I gotta go pick him up. Okay, but this will keep you alive, won't it, Andre? Tell him about the purple potato, Dita. I appreciate. It. Do you mind if I jump off? Because I got, I got a flight. I want to know about this lipstick. shirt. And um, her shirt that she has on, I didn't, I didn't want to see. Oh, my nothing. shirt. Yes. <laughs> It's um, a peacock. I got shirt in London. It's a peacock. Yeah, I got it in London. You got it in London. Oh, look at Where's that shirt! It? I knew what Where's it was. Where's the head? I yeah. knew what it was. <laughs> Where I'm, the I'm the head. Oh, oh you the peacock! The peacock. <laughs> <laughs> Kim, you can see. I don't know. I got 
got, you know what? I'll text you, Sherry. I don't know. I, I got to look at the tag. But I got it in this uh, boutique in London. They make that, these kind of shirts. It's a t shirt. That's real peacock. No, it's not real peacock. She's <laughs> 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 like that <laughs> peacock. <laughs> I just Thank ruined, you. Just ruined Kim's uh, life. It's very cute. Pick Josh. I'm a slide Go out. pick up Joshua, Kim. We love you. Can we'll you come back and talk right. later. Man, I want to and love Say you goodbye too. to Dita, Kim. Dita, thank you so much for coming on our podcast because I bought lipstick. Thank I hope we get some girls to school and our lips look good uh, next week. Well, Sherry sent hers to somebody else, so good luck with that. Um, but congratulations <laughs> to the winner. They could have thank said, they you, could have thank you for having me. I appreciate you. And and next she gonna she gonna make some bath bombs and body stuff. So I'm gonna get some of that stuff. Yeah, we can't wait. Bath I bath. love bath bombs. Love how bath. close? Are you to Dita, how I close are you bath. to making like more products like bath? I love I love bath bombs because I take baths all the time, and so does Andre because he like he would like to sit in our bathtub. So he's a bathtub man yeah, as well. Terry. Like can oh he's a bad thing. So um, hopefully next year, you know, next year, I would have made them this year, but we're on strike. No, I'm just kidding. But um, <laughs> but next yeah. year, next year, we're, we'll go into the lab and start that formulation for our bath products. And so so how, do you have a certain amount of girls that you help? Are you helping a village? Are you helping a school of girls in Tanzania? What are you, te what are you teaching them? So um, my nonprofit teaches them our social STEM curriculum that we also we had we piloted in 2018 in Tanzania and in Inglewood in um, a neighborhood um, here in Chicago. So we kind of they kind of recycle the girls at, at the Uzima Center. So if they've been through secondary education and they go to university level, Real Beauty, my nonprofit takes care of them to go to school at the secondary school education level, and then Bixa takes care of them at the university level. So they're different girls. And so the girls that we initially started with 12 years ago, they are now in university or coming out to be doctors, lawyers, or that kind of thing, yeah. So we'll have some updated success stories on that. But thus far, Bixa has been in business for two years, and we have sent four girls to school, one for accounting, one for animal health education, one to be a doctor, and one to be a lawyer. Wow. Up. And Chris, I, I should have sent all... you those photos of them. <laughs> oh, we well, would have loved join, to join the show. You can just uh, produce on the fly if you text them to me. So that's the style okay. we run here. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Can, if you have pictures that you can text to Chris that are on your phone. Yeah, just toss we'll them here. <laughs> but, but Chris, yeah, do, we have comments about, do we have any comments or questions? Look for oh, the pictures so many. Have them. Um, and text them Dita. to Chris. I, Okay, let me, yeah, I'll text it oh, to Chris right that. now. Let's do that. Yeah, let's load Dita. in Deja, strap in. Chris? Uh, <laughs> Dita, how do, you, how do you come up with the names for your product? I just, I, how, what, what inspires the names of your product? So that's a good question. So by me being a makeup artist and working at the counter for many years, I've always wanted my own cosmetic line. And so I had a journal that I kept for over 10 years until I found a um a chemist and i came up with these names and i wrote them down probably 10 years ago so i just mm -hmm. i just come up with the names and i think the line that inspired me to come up with names like that was nars you know what so since you have a miss parker sorry since you have a miss yeah i have a hey uh, we, we have a uh, um sugar i get one called oh, sugar plum but you know, Kim was in Friday, and her name was Sugar in Friday. And you have Miss Parker, so you know I was doing it. You know. Oh, so you were trying to run. You was putting the hole. Okay, I got you, Andre. Okay, okay. <laughs> Nita, the question okay, that Chris. I have for you: while you looking, send it to Chris the pictures while you're scrolling through, is like Kim yes. and I. I think if you have any advice for somebody who wanted to start a business, like a a, a makeup line, because Kim and I, that's something that we talk about all the time because we love lip glosses and lipsticks but like where do you even start like you said oh i went to a chemist I, you know andre calls himself a chemist and i i don't know what he'd be making but he calls himself the chemist of love but like where would where would we start <laughs> if we wanted to start a business with makeup that's a good question that's a very good question um let's see where would you start well for me i mean they do have like private label 
um, manufacturers. I I didn't want a private label manufacturer. That's why it took so long for me to get um, a chemist. My chemist is, um, um, she used to work at L'Oreal here in Chicago. Okay. She used to formulate for L'Oreal. And so um, a neighbor of mine used to work for, I don't know if you remember a line called Organic Root Stimulator or Namaste back in the day. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes, they're all from Chicago, the, that whole arena. But um, my neighbor used to work for that brand. And so I just asked her one day, did she know of a chemist? And she said, I do. And she said she's, she only does hair. And so when um, I called the, her referral, I said, have you ever did a cosmetic line? She said, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm willing to try. And so we formulated for two years or a year or two, and we came up with, um, with Bixa, with the colors. And so I knew exactly as a makeup artist, and because I'm familiar with color theory as a makeup artist, I knew how and what products I wanted to put in this particular lip line. And so I came to her with, um, you know, she came with her knowledge. I came with what I had researched, and we just made a beautiful product. Along with the plan. And this is at Bixa Beauty, B I X A Beauty.com. If you purchase any product from Bixa Beauty, um, proceeds go towards helping the girls, uh, uh, select girls in Tanzania, go to school, get basic, um, you know, meet their basic needs also helps in the, the classes of entrepreneurship for them so that they can survive and, and take care of themselves and their family. So uh, please That's follow correct. please follow Dita at Bixa Beauty on social media and subscribe to her newsletter. And any comments or questions, Chris? So many comments and questions. Uh, <laughs> quick reminder, quick reminder, shout out to a Miracle Buttercream for uh, making this happen. And Sita does this each. Yes, Thank you. And everyone, uh, this is uh, this is what a fun listener wants to know if you're doing any human testing because MM would like to volunteer as a uh, human test subject as a part time chemist. He thinks he would do a great job. I don't think you do any human testing with this. Uh, no, we don't. Sorry. Sorry. I think he was. Andre already asked about the job. He just slid into Dita's DMs asking if she does human <laughs> testing, and the answer is the uh, same. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Don't be answering for her. You'll, uh, I Yolanda, I don't need to try, to, try to stay professional. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. You, sure, you, you just by call you after this. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Chris. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Yolanda Rivers says my favorite is Bell the Ball. A lot of people that have this, they came on. You had a little bit of an audience as you came on too. So shout out to you. Uh, yes, that's one of my besties. Tracy says, is there a discount code? You, the um, reason we don't have a discount code is because okay. this was going straight to, this has a charity component to it. And so really, it we don't have a discount code because it's helping the girls in Tanzania. That's where her proceeds are going. So we did not, we chose not to discount the lipsticks because it's going to help. So that's why that was a decision that we made not to put the discount code um, on there because this was going straight to these girls. So I hope you don't mind. We made an we made an executive decision on that one because we wanted it to really help these girls. And we're getting some food. Does, uh, does, does the lip balm have any flavors? No, it's just it's just a plain lip balm. But what flavor would you like? Yeah. Oh Lord! Careful. <laughs> yeah, I should have asked that question, huh? Yeah, listen. I you seem like a very intelligent woman, and you just had a lapse there. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, okay, I'll keep it. Listen. I'll keep it right there. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is, Andre, who you want? Who you want to taste your strawberry lips? Oh. I need to know. <laughs> At this point, anybody. <laughs> okay, we're uploading photos. Just this is uh, producing on the fly. Uh, Don Tree says uh, she thinks Sherry. Are you fighting for your for your life? You seem pretty awake for somebody who's been up all day. I'm exhausted, but the thing about doing the podcast is I start having so much fun. That's yes. that it wakes me up. 
But then when I sign off, it, the exhaustion hits me because I do have to be up at uh, five in the morning. But, it, you know, this podcast does give me joy because I love to laugh and I do get to laugh. I haven't talked to Andre in a long time where he's actually set on the podcast. Dita is a lot of fun. She's tr Dita trying to be professional. And she has <laughs> I, I don't know. Bail on that. Just give up. <laughs> What do you but do? Dita <laughs> is also crazy as heck. You get one time Dita came to New York. It's when I was doing the oh. view, and uh, she was with her partner at the time. Six photos, and I don't. They managed to get all the way up in the worst part of the Bronx, and Dita was like, "Girl, I don't know where we are." And I tell you, it was gang members everywhere. I'm looking for Dita in my my Audi <laughs> new Audi. Going, well, Dita, where are you? She's like, girl, I did, but everybody's so nice. Like she sees <laughs> the good of everybody. I pull up in front of some store. I was like, Dita, all these is gangsters. She was just like, she was in such a good mood. And so I love Dita and she's always laughing and smiling. And your faith plays a big part in what you do. Can you talk about your faith and your business and how it melds together? Yes, okay. we're gonna be serious, Andre. Hey, and hey, I know you are let's, scared. Let's do some wherever more, we go. More producing on the fly. More producing okay, on the fly. Okay, hold on. Dita, as after you finish your your wonderful answer that you're about to very seriously deliver as testament. Yes. We do have yes. the photos. We do have the photos that you have provided. So you lead us to those photos after you've delivered. Okay. Now, you know, I got to open my phone to see what I just sent you, Chris, but okay. But, um, <laughs> the picture don't come up, Dita. Oh, wait. <laughs> Andre, you just, this oh, is, maybe I need to double up. check okay, these. Okay, okay, cool. Okay. I see, well, anyway, what is Dita sending that she got to look at? Did you send the wrong picture? <laughs> and, right. And before, well, I'm, I'm like, wait, where, 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 where? where? <laughs> Right. Big of Beauty, B I X A Beauty.com. Sherry. Proceeds going to help the girls. One more. What? One more. One more producing on the fly moment. <laughs> I Eat, love Chris. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's something. And thank you. Same to you. And I'm glad we've made this connection, Dita. We had a great <coughs> pre show conversation. We did. Uh, we did. Please. This is, I, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Please ask Sherry if she's going to the gym in the morning. <laughs> From Edie. Poor Edie. Oh, Poor oh, Edie. Gosh. Your executive Edie. assistant has to text me. It, I'm surprised Edie's not in the live chat. You're ignoring <laughs> one of the more important people in your life. <laughs> On the podcast. Well, Sherry, are and you? Then, uh, and then look at this one. Hello. Uh, oh, you still doing you? Jeffrey, what's up? Hey, Jeffrey. Wait, are you still doing your thing? We're still doing our thing. Yeah, I'm still doing my thing. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. It's the man, the myth, the legend, Chris Denman. Andre on the phone. <laughs> Say hi to Andre and Chris. Oh, hang up. Okay. He hung up. He said I'm over this. He hung up. Teenagers, they hang up. Oh, they hang up on you. Tell okay, Edie, so we want to do the pictures. Uh, oh, you want me to answer your question? Well, Sherry. we need to see if, is Sherry going to the gym in the morning. That's very important on a live podcast to to, to decipher. Edie, this. I don't have the gym. On, I don't have the gym on Thursdays because I have two shows. I'm going to the gym on Friday. So Poor Edie. I'm leaving oh, at six thirty in the morning. Working her tail. So off. If you can let my sister know. <laughs> I can't believe. Oh, I'm I'm invoicing you. That's an official like that's invoiceable for you. So we were <laughs> asking <laughs> how. How big a beauty, how do you meld? Because it's, it's, you know, leaving your business and starting your, leaving your, you know, s s stable business and starting a mm -hmm. business takes a great deal mm -hmm. of faith, which I've always known yes. you to have. Your faith is like mm -hmm. the, it, it, it's your foundation. So how do you put your faith with your business? Um, that's a great question. I think the best way to put your faith with your business is to do a scare. Um, you know, just, just really step out on faith. And I know that's kind of cliche, but you just have to believe enough in yourself and, you know, God, and just, you know, really know what it is your purpose is. Um, I knew what my purpose was. 
Um, and I think that's important that people need to understand and know what their purpose is in life. And when you understand who you are and your purpose, it's easy for you to step out and walk by faith. This whole journey has been by faith. Now, what are, in the practical of that, starting a business also is ups and downs. It's not just you got a lip balm and you're ready to sell it, you know, and you That's got people going, can it be human experiences? What's some of the downs, what's some of the lows that you've had and some of the highs in starting this business? Um, I mean, I think marketing and capital money, you know, um, you know, how to scale your business and, and really, you know, you, you get into these um, spaces, these incubator spaces where people say, oh, we'll give you a grant or give you money and you apply. I applied for 20 grants this year. Uh, one was the Bay Good Foundation. And it was a beautiful, beautiful lunch in here in Chicago, the Four Seasons. But I wasn't one of the recipients of the $10,000. So I've been applying for grants since January and I haven't received one yet, but, and that's how I know by faith, you know, we walk by faith and not by sight. So I know something is coming because I'm doing the work. And I think that's important that people know, you know, you gotta keep doing the work. And so that's been one of the loads of business, raising money, getting capital, because if you have that money, then you can do marketing. And Sherry, as you and I have spoken before, because of the strike, I don't have the extra income to funnel the marketing, those dollars to help with marketing. But I'm just walking by faith and still believing that my business will scale and it will do well. One of the things I know as a testament to you walking by faith, which I so admired, is you came to the Essence Festival. And the Essence Festival, not only is it a music festival that Essence throws, it's a lot of different businesses. And you just decided to show up because you believe in networking and just came mm -hmm. in by faith. And I, and I don't think I'm, I'm not telling any of your business that you wouldn't want to put out there, no. but you showed up. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like you had reservations. It wasn't like a company paid you to be there as a spokesperson. You just mm -hmm. knew this was the Mecca, the largest Mecca and gathering of black women. And you had mm -hmm. a product. And you showed up. And it's amazing when you just show up by faith, how God moves to, because Dita mm -hmm. didn't have a place to stay. She didn't know how she was going <laughs> to get to Yeah, My friend just was like, I'm coming to New Orleans. And, but you, you came and you did it scared. And God provided where you had a place to stay. You were able to get around. You were meeting people and forming relationships which I love because a lot of people I think would be scared to just step out. How scary is it sometimes when you run in your own business and this is your livelihood? Plus you have other girls relying on you. What do they call Do they call you auntie? Mm -hmm. Some of them call me mama, mama Dita. Uh, some of them just call me, yeah, mama Dita or Dita. Yeah, a uh, miss, miss so Dita. how scary? Yeah. How I mean, scary do you get scary. sometimes? Oh, it's very scary, but it's all it's also interesting because once you panic and then you look back, you'll be like, oh, that was easy. You know what I mean? It's like walking this thin line and you just, you know, it's like walking the water, you know, and you don't know what's in front of you. You don't know, you know, how you're going to make it. Am I going to drown? Am I going to, you know, walk the water, stay on top of this water? You know, you just don't know. But when you get past the finish line of that particular goal, it's like God had you all along. He just he was he was right there. And so we tend to panic. I know I still do, you know, even by walking by faith. But I look back, I'm like, oh, you had me. So, you know, it, it's it's a wonderful journey. And it's 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 it, faith is a muscle that we have to work daily. And it's not something that we, you know, you just get wake up and like, oh, I got a lot of faith. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a muscle that it's like a muscle. It has to be worked daily. So if you purchase any of Bixa Beauty products, Proceeds go to the girls, uh, Dita's foundation, Bix of Beauty, uh, in Tanzania to help them develop entrepreneurial skills to take care of themselves and their family so that these girls are not relying on men trying to help them, having to get married at a young age to get, uh, to get help. Dita, you know, encourages the girls to go on to secondary, get their secondary education, uh, she has girls that four that one is going to be an accountant, 
a lawyer, a doctor, and a, would you say what an animal scientist? Uh, yeah, and we have some pictures, don't we, Chris? We uh, sure do. Um, That's a great prompt. Educa- That's a great prompt. Yes. Yep, yeah, animal health education. So here, who benefit from the proceeds of Bixa? Okay. Oh, who are these two? So the, oh, wait, man, hold so, on. What's, what's going on? So that's that's her name is Garden Sia, and that's her grandmother. Her grandmother is raising her, and we're outside their home in Mwanza, Tanzania. And that's from a trip I did this past December. And, no, and grandma is in school right now. She's in school right now, mm-hmm. and Grandma in Swahili is is uh, BB. And then these are the girls inside the Uzima Center, and we're um, doing an activity that I brought over from United States for them to do. I think we're doing like a paint and sip. And so I bring all the supplies over from um, Chicago, and we do activities with the girls. This is Joanna, and she's one of the um, recipients of, of the proceeds from Bixa that has went to school. I think she went to school for accounting. Oh, wow. And her name is Jessica, mm-hmm. but it's spelled J-E-S-K-A. And she's one. No, she went to school for accounting. Jessica did. I think the other okay. one went to school to be a lawyer. Yeah. So she's okay. one of the um, recipients of the proceeds. And I forgot her name, but she's the one in animal health education. So we sent wow. her to school. Oh, now who is this lovely? And, and her name is Grace, and I, we're outside her home. And she picked a flower, and she gave it to me, and we took a picture. She just looks like she just loves on you. Yes, yeah, she she had she is she's a beautiful beautiful human being. I mean, she likes to sing, and she sang us a song, and it's just you know visiting the village in Africa is something that I think everybody, the villages in Africa, everyone should do. It's, it it it'd change your life. It's life changing. I want to ask you about Africa. And I want to say again, to follow Dita on social media platforms, all of them, it's at Bixa Beauty, B-I-X-A Beauty. And to purchase any of her lip stains, lip whips, they're called um, BixaBeauty.com. So many people have this concept of Africa who have not been over to Mm -hmm. Africa. That's one of the places I want to take Jeffrey um, to Mm -hmm. learn about Africa. When you go over to Africa, what do you feel like? What do you feel? You feel like you want to move? You've talked about moving to Africa uh, quite a a few times of buying property over there. What makes Africa a place that you want to go to and leave the shy? Um, First of all, it's warm. Um, Second, (laughs) (laughs) it's a warmer climate. But more importantly, I feel free in Africa. I feel very free really? when I, yes, I feel free. I feel, um, I don't feel heavy. You know what I mean? Um, the food is different over there. You know, um, everything is organically grown. You know, it's no pesticides. It's no, you know, um, all that stuff that they do with our food over here that's causing a lot of uh, diseases and ailments. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's just like a feeling of freedom. It really is. Now, I think people th- have this misconception of Africa. Misconception. You think, oh, it's yeah. You, like you think, oh, it's a lot of poverty over there and it's different and I'm not going to be able to have the lifestyle, but it's very, very different than what it's a lot very, of people very think. different. It's very, very different. For the first time last December, I visited Ghana. Ghana is very commercialized. Um, A lot of people from America are moving to Ghana and they are building their homes and they are thriving in Accra, Ghana. And once I saw that, I was like, "Uh, I'm moving to Africa. (laughs) Like, it's so funny. They welcome us. They welcome us over there with our businesses, with, um, you know, everything like it, it, it's progressing, you know, Africa is progressing in the film and TV industry and in the beauty industry, the hair industry. It's progressing so much. And um, this is the time to go and invest and give back. And I've been doing it for 12 years before it got popular. And so um, what, about the, uh, is beautiful. What, about the, what about the men over there in Tanzania? What's going on? You know, they, 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 you know, they African men, they're nice looking. (laughs) Very nice looking men. Might have to go over to Tanzania and have an eat, pray, love. Yeah. Yes. Um, You'll come. You'll come. (laughs) You'll come visit. I know I will. (laughs) Uh, 
<laughs> Bigsabeauty.com. It's funny because Kim and I have been talking about buying property together. Her and I like going okay. and getting something together. Sure. And mm -hmm. I, I was telling her about Ghana, you know, going to Ghana and investing in some land and building something mm -hmm. over there. So we actually got to take a trip over to Ghana, Kim and I. Because Kim real frugal. So, I, you know, I'm different from Kim. <laughs> we figure out what kind of, what, what are we going to buy and who the chief is. You know, we got to talk to the chief over there and figure out where we're going to be <laughs> in Ghana. But uh, Well, I could help I, I you with that, it. Sherry. <laughs> oh, you can? Yes, I can lead you into the right direction. Okay, then we have to do a girl's trip. My birthday is coming up, and I was actually thinking Africa. But at first, I wanted to do Italy. But I said, you know what? Maybe I should have my very close girlfriends do, like, <laughs> Ghana. Because go back to the motherland. And, one, mm -hmm. you know, one thing I love about all my girlfriends, I always say this. Show me the five people that you hang with, and I will show you who you are. I don't know where I saw that quote somewhere. Mm. But it's so true about who you surround yourself with. I'm proud to call you my friend. I love you so much. Oh, oh but, likewise, you know, ditto. Well, because I love the fact, I love being around people who like to create and who like to talk about you know, ideas and building and producing because it encourages you. I think they say big mm -hmm. minds talk about creation. Average mm -hmm. minds talk just, I don't know what the average minds do, but small minds like gossip. Or do something like that and so i'm so thankful that i have girlfriends who all like to produce and who all think big and who all you know want to step past fear which you're one of these women that i just love and admire so i think i want to plan maybe my girl's trip to ghana maybe we'll take hey, a couple of our hey. yeah maybe we'll take a couple hours subscribe chris we got to figure out how we can do that contest Oh, no, it's exactly how you do it. Ghana, like you said, there's probably enough infrastructure there. There's probably some uh, some uh, e-commerce, different things like that. You do a live show. That's what you do. You do a live show. You do a small to you. tour. Do a podcast from Ghana? Uh, no, you do a live podcast. Absolutely. You do a live podcast. You work it out. You make sure it's safe. You make sure the infrastructure is correct, that you can do everything. And then there you go. Oh, that'd be cool. You know, and, Kristen did that. That, that means Chris got to go. He oh, no. Oh, no. You got to take me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Chris, you don't want to go to Ghana? What would I ever yeah, do, do over that's there? Why it. Oh, yeah. That's sarcasm. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yo, you better be. I'll go first. Honey. I'll go for a month to just to make sure that all the uh, the ladies are friendly over there and everything's good. So <laughs> we'll Chris just. I want to go to Ghana so bad. I'll be there. That's what you're talking about doing a podcast. Yeah, that's right. Chris Can't never do. come back. And, he, and look, uh, Dita, Chris is about six feet nine. So he's going to go out there. Them ladies no, no, ain't no. going to go Woo. see Chris and be like, oh, Lord, he could buy the whole day gone. <laughs> He'll be very <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> like, what? what Chris, heck? you're six nine? Absolutely not. Sherry's being silly. She thinks I'm that tall. tall I'm Without shoes on, I'm six three and a half. That's not. That's nowhere near six <laughs> foot nine. Six three six nine is the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> six nine means way different. Uh, That's how Chris walk over all broad, blocking out the sun, freaking broad like this. I, that's because I eat too much. <laughs> <laughs> well fed in the so Midwest. Yeah, I, think, I think I'm gonna plan my girls trip to go to Ghana. Do they have any safaris over there? Yes, yes. Uh, one of the one of the safaris. I, just, I want you, I want you to come up with your the first three questions that just come off the top of your head. I love it. Uh, one, I one of the best, Man. but one of the best safaris is in Tanzania, um, Serengeti. I call it the Garden of Eden. Oh yeah, I like it. Bixabeauty dot com. <laughs> Proceed Just are helping these young right girls in Tanzania. You got any comments for Dita or questions? Uh, sure, absolutely. Everybody thought Andre was asleep. <laughs> they were, they were, well, he was I, not. Andre just got out of the hospital yesterday. And so he's fine. He, is, he was he's an emergency fine. all night. Uh, here we go. It's, so we're going to look at this real quick. Uh, oh, actually, I don't want to make this about me, but there's a lot of comments about my comments. Uh, 
<laughs> said Vanessa said, Lord, the red chair is empty. Yeah, that was Kim's chair earlier. Sassy wants to go with you to the uh, to the thing. Uh, Jennifer, love how you're helping young women. I work in my community to try and assist teenage boys and girls in getting into high school and college and even charting a career path. And that looks like it's in Barbados, maybe, from Jennifer. Nice. Uh, that's family. Uh, fantastic. Argelis says, invite a few fans to Ghana. I like that. Mosquitoes are other insects you need to worry about. Is that are they bad over there? Um, the mosquitoes are, but I mean, That's, you you have to take a you have to get a yellow fever shot. It's mandatory to go to Ghana. Del D says I'm from Ghana, and I can assure you it's safe. Yeah, no, very Del, safe. Del D says very. so. Why not? Yeah, <laughs> no, it yeah, is. I, I felt I, very I, safe. I, uh huh. You, literally, Kim and I have been talking about buying some land in Ghana and doing a real estate should. purchase together in Ghana. Yep. And, um, you know, we were going to go, her and I, to Ghana. But I, again, in talking to you, first of all, I would love to meet your girls over in Tanzania. Uh, do they got a wig that. store out there? They got a wig store? <laughs> I can't. I, how about this from Lakia? I think, I, think, I think you should bring your wigs with you, Sherry. I, no. <laughs> That might be a business I want to start in Ghana. I might open up. Oh, okay. I, I, I haven't seen a wig store in Ghana. I bet they have wigs. Mine stores. start creating. So, so uh, Bixa, just so you know, this is some good information. We're launching in Ghana in December. Congratulations. Oh, Are you going to have a store? Um, a store, a store. In Ghana? I'm launching inside a store called The Lot. It's in the Canton Cant cantonments. In Ghana, so we're we're launching in December in Ghana. The Beauty Mall by Glory Wig Ventures, Becky Wigs, Shasha Wigs. Uh, just a quick Google search, and we've got three uh, wig stores. Wig well, shows. Becky Wigs, Shasha Wigs, Sherry Wigs. We <laughs> never have enough wig stores in Ghana. How about this? How about this comment from Lakia? This I I wish we had a comment to the day. How are we going to coordinate a live podcast in Ghana when Kim and Sherry? <laughs> Be giving Chris the blues with starting on time here in the States. <laughs> Lady. Kim, we're supposed to go to Ghana to look at land. Because you know how we've been right. talking about buying land? Me and you buying real estate? Right. So we got to no, go to also, Ghana. When is she going? Because I'm taking Joshua to Ghana for his 13th birthday in January. I ain't planning. Oh, I'll be yet, there. That's what can you give there. me some information? I don't have nobody. I want to take them and have a coming of man ceremony, like a thing. And I picked Ghana. Really? No. I ain't no airline ticket. Can you give her my number, Sherry? Okay, first of all, hold on. I love the fact that you have a come, a coming to man ceremony, whatever that is. A coming to man ceremony. You ain't no, taking one man, man with you. I love how I kept you jump back on. You just gonna find some men in Ghana and say, I'm, my son is at a coming to man ceremony. I need to do it. Right. Have you looked it up in the yellow pages in Ghana coming to Hang men on. events? I will not Google that. I'm not Googling that about Ghana. How to make it a man is. out can of you, a boy. Can you show Kim uh, how she can do a coming to man ceremony in Ghana? With, she ain't taking Andre. She ain't taking Carlton. She ain't taking nobody. It's just her and Joshua. She gonna find a coming to, to man. To somebody. You talk to your people in Ghana and ask them if I can bring my son and do a coming to man ceremony. Okay. A coming to man. Okay. So it's kind of like a bar mitzvah or something? For Boom. Because my son said he wanted a bar mitzvah. I said, nope. We're going to Africa. You're going to have a coming to man. It's going to be a black mitzvah. So that's what we're doing. I got to go over here and I got to turn these salmon cakes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now you I'm remember, Dita, I said to you, you are coming on the Two Funny Mamas podcast of your own free will. And you said, I do. <laughs> I did say I do. I, this don't bother me one bit, Kim, just walking off the, the, the screen with it, a big it, hand mitt in her hand. She making salmon cakes. That sound good. She oh. making salmon cakes. Chris, you have another? Okay. Yeah, what'd you say? What's she, was, Chris? she was doing hosting duties and I appreciate that. Uh, so my... everybody, I still want to get, we still, Dita is the founder and creator of Bixa Beauty. Lip stains, excuse me, lip whips 
yes. different color lip whips a uh, little goes a long way purchase some of the bixa beauty products at bixa beauty b-i-x-a bixa beauty.com proceeds go to help the girls in tanzania develop skills go to college uh basic needs being met like sanitary napkins you know clothing things that you just need as a young lady and uh proceeds of of bixa beauty products so if you could support please subscribers and followers go to bixabeauty.com and kim and, uh, and i were talking to dita about going to ghana and i want to go to serengeti because i want to go to a safari yes this is one of the best safaris i've been on and the only safari in africa i've been on yeah i know women that have gone to ghana they've gotten married now i'm like looking to get married i'm just just not in my wheelbarrow uh, at this time but mm -hmm. it would be very cool to go on some dates in ghana <laughs> I, I mean, you're going to stretch this out to a whole, I can write a whole week, two week. We got a whole, this is a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we do have some comments, additional comments, yes. and everybody's very supportive and loving that. A lot of people informing us. So thank you for all the good information. Del D says Ghana doesn't have a puberty right for boys. Sorry, Kim. Uh, Dr. K. We'll tell Kim that I need to get her to Ghana. We're going to take Joshua anyway. We'll find something. We'll make one up. That's what you do. That's what we'll it's pick essentially it up. We're gonna when make, you. Yeah. We're going to hire six Ghanaian strippers and we're going to do a coming to man ceremony. Now, are you familiar with what, what snipe hunting is? Do you know what that is? I don't know. I, I've out never the, heard of that snipe out in the Out in the country, you. You tell people if you just want them to go run around the woods for four hours and find nothing, you're like, hey, go go hunt these snipes. That's not a real thing. So basically, we do Never that in that. Ghana. We send Jeff, we send uh, Joshua on a wild He's goose chase. Jeffrey. <laughs> well, Jeffrey oh, can so too. Joshua is going to go on what he thinks is he's going on like a hunting yeah, adventure. We, Almost, oh. You know, to like coming to man. We just got him running around some trees. Yeah, and we drink wine and hang out. <laughs> While he runs around being a man. That's a good one. I like that. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sending this. I, I, I just ordered I just ordered this uh, Bixa uh, beauty package. Hold on. So it can come to me, and then I'm going to send it to Chris. Okay, processing. Okie doke. All right, double click to the page. Is that for the gift? Yeah, this is That's for what's her name? Lanika. Lanika. Lana it's processing K. right Lana now. K. Lana K. Yep, done. Okay, uh, so also, let me send to you, Chris, and then you can send it to Lana K. I feel so bad. I we saw just this. got your order, Sherry. That's great. I saw a comment go. earlier, and it was oh, it was somebody you know. They were so supportive, and I was happy to read it for you, Dita. Oh, Stephanie Guy. Congratulations, sis. Mama Lorraine says congratulations. Oh, yes. Yes, that's oh. my college, my college family. Yes, in Bessemer, Alabama. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Well, we <laughs> well Sherry, you've been I at it all day long. Yeah, I have. I've been at it since uh, I got up at four o'clock this morning. So I've been at it. Um, and then we had we had a big uh, show yesterday, my Halloween show. Yes, <laughs> it was epic. So when I tell you I was so exhausted, that. thank you. I felt like a sledgehammer had hit me uh, because Dita, they put me in, I had on, it wasn't Spanx. It was something stronger than Spanx. Uh, and then they put a waist cincher really? around me to, to just kind of bring me in. And it was so Ooh. tight. It took four people to put the, the second corset on me. And so I could only do shallow breaths like... <laughs> That's how I had to breathe. And then I had to dance with that corset on and be in a bodysuit. And um, so when I took it off, my organs were so smashed together, I couldn't even eat. <laughs> but it was oh, so gosh. much fun. It was so much fun. It looked like it. Yes. So I had a I had a great time and it was a lot of faith and a lot of, you know, it it just I exceed. I always wanted my own talk show to be able to do the things that I wanted to do that I knew was going to be fun. You know, being on The View was great because I love the ladies, 
but there were things that I wanted to do that they weren't really into. I was always into mm -hmm. dressing up in costumes. And then you'd have, you know, some of the ladies like, eh, I really don't want to do it. You know, and I did that just is something I had already said. If I have my own talk show, I just want to go like all out and be wild. All out. And so, yes. you know, talk, something mm -hmm. like Beyonce for me was a dream come true because I got to, you know, kind of tap into that fantasy world. Somebody yes. actually did my dance and they put it to the actual Beyonce music and they sent it to me. I'm going to post it. And it looks so amazing. And I go, wow, I got to come out and dance and, you know, climb on a horse and act like sexy. Could you and show that girl, one little video? You rocked it. The horse and dress? you rocked it. <laughs> yeah, I, we'll pull it up. I mm -hmm. loved it. It was so much fun doing that and stepping out of stepping out of your comfort zone. That's what it is. I was on that horse, yes. my little booty. I ain't got no big booty, but I love the booty I got. <laughs> if you with me, you're not a booty person. You a boob person. And I done got them cut off. So I don't know what you're going for. But being able to... So which, which outfit did you have a corset on um, too, too tight? This was All of the body corset too. was on everything. The corset oh, okay. was on everything. It just was to make it even. And that was my favorite outfit, the red. Yes. Uh, and also the jersey, the Ivy Park jersey. That yes. was one of my favorite. I wore this for Halloween to give away candy to the kids. And you did? Uh, <laughs> I did. I wore this sucker with some thigh high boots, girl. Them parents was like, okay, who, who is you? But I gave away candy <laughs> yesterday. So I love it was it. just so much fun. And I give it up to the queen because she had over, her mother said that Beyonce had 600 outfits for her Renaissance tour. Wow. And she wore 500 of the, or she had a hundred that she hadn't worn, which means she had 500 outfits that she did wear. So wow. I know it was for me, they, I didn't even change myself. I just stood there with my arms out to my side and my legs mm -hmm. out to my side. They put on stockings. I had to wear four pairs of stockings because Beyonce wears a lot. So I wore a pair of pantyhose, a pair of uh, net net pantyhose. They put another pair of pantyhose over that, and then they put the net, the net, um, the fishnet stockings over those. Four pairs of pantyhose. They actually put underwear on me. They put bras on me. They dress me, and you got to stand there while they're doing all that. They people pulling on your hair, combing your hair, putting a hat. I was hot flashing like crazy. Um, then they're miking you, and I said, "Oh my goodness." Beyonce had to go through this through every costume <laughs> chain. Mm -hmm, How mm -hmm. did she do it and get out there and dance? And I only did a, a, a 20 second dance and it took me out. That girl danced for three hours. And I said, when yeah. God gives you a gift, it really, mm -hmm. really showed me. When God gives you a gift, he gives you everything you need to, to move <laughs> in that gift. You know, yes. that's why you can't mm -hmm. do what somebody else do. I can't do what Beyonce does because that's not my gift. Now I can do a karaoke of that gift like I did yes. yesterday. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, doing what I did, I went, wow, that's why Beyonce operates at this level that a lot of people mm -hmm. can't operate on. That's a special kind of something. Everybody can't do that. But, yeah. you know, and then like what you were saying with Bix the Beauty and starting your own business, you have to know who you are. You have to know what your gifts are. Yep. Because when yep. the going gets tough, you got to tap into the gifts that God has put into you. So when you try to yes. be using gifts you ain't even got and borrowing other people, you can't. You got to know correct. who you are and be you. And I know with my show, they told me no at first. You, know, you can't be Beyonce because everybody going to be Beyonce for Halloween on these talk shows. And I said, but they're not going to do Beyonce like I'm going to do Beyonce. Cause that's the one that's thing right. I know what I bring. My gift is through the lens of funny. So once mm -hmm. I know that, and, and when you know who you are like you, and you have that faith and you know what the gift is that God has given you, when you go through the rough spots, you got to tap yes. into what you know he's blessed you with. That is correct. Yep. And that's what gets us through because like you said, you tap, this is a rough spot, you know, especially if a lot of people in our industry, you know what I mean? And so I, I have to tap into my other businesses. Bix, uh, I have another business called Last Look Chicago. So I have to tap into 
social steam curriculum. You know, I just have to refocus and pivot that energy and work your businesses and trust God. You know, being on strike, again, you're affected by the strike. You're not an actor, mm -hmm. but you're a makeup artist on productions that take place in Chicago. And if there's no mm -hmm. actors and writers, there's no production, which means you've been out of work since, how long has it been, Dita? May 2nd. You've been out of work since May 2nd. Mm -hmm. So you've had no, the your livelihood that has sustained you through the years, that has allowed mm -hmm. you to do your business, the livelihood that has allowed you to go to Tanzania and help the girls has stopped. That money has yep. stopped. A lot of people think with the actor strike, you keep thinking of rich people like Tom Cruise and all of these people got money. Right. It's affecting them. This is how it trickles down and affects other people. It's a domino Makeup effect. Art. It's a domino effect. People who work in restaurants that, that Hollywood uh, frequents, they're not working. They're firing people at the laundromats because they're not washing the clothes of the actors and the productions. So they don't need all those people working at the laundromat. There, yep. it, it is so many people left and right that are losing their homes and going through things. So, and you still have kept your business. You've had, I've watched you. You've had to pivot so mm -hmm. many times because the business that you've been on is not there, but God yeah. is. That's so right. when, when those That's things are not right. there, God is. How have you yeah. managed to make it through from May of 2023? It is November of 2023. How has your faith kept you going? You know what? You said it. it's my faith and it's favor. It's favor. It's having a great support system like yourself. Um, I have a great support system of sister friends and a great family um, who understands my situation. And people just step up and step in. And, you know, I don't, I don't beg. I don't ask for anything. My prayer is that God will always put my name on someone's heart and their mind. And, and it just happens. And that's literally how it happens. I know that makes it, so, it's emotional. It is, you know, to, to be in this situation and it's not even of your own making. You didn't ask for this. Nope. You know, you just don't <laughs> work, you make people look good. You doing your job, you come home, you don't bother nobody, but yet this is falling <laughs> on you. And yeah. even in the midst of yeah. uh, what I admire about you, Dita, is you're not working, but you still care about these girls in Tanzania. You're still doing everything that you can to make sure your girls are taken care of. And again, I say yeah. to our followers and subscribers who are watching us, this is Bixa Beauty, B-I-X-A Beauty.com. The proceeds are not to get Dita a Tesla or all of this stuff. <laughs> Dita's, just, Dita's just trying to put gas in her car and pay the basic <laughs> bill. Cause she ain't working. This she's on the strike. The strike is like affecting everybody. But yet and yeah. still, she's producing her lipsticks, and she's just asking if you could purchase the products to keep the girls in Tanzania going. So that if something like this happens to these girls in Tanzania, they have a skill set to take care yes. of themselves. Went to college to get a degree to take care of themselves. And also what you're doing is impacting these girls and they're going out and they're going to impact other girls. That's the way God strategically uses blessings. That's he right. doesn't just bless you. That's right. His blessings because we're all strategic. here. Right. We're all here to serve. And I think once we understand that, that we're here to serve, that's how the kingdom operates on giving and receiving. So the more you give, the more you will receive. Um. I don't know if you got to see my interview with Cat Williams on my show. He was so eloquent because Cat is a very generous person. And I asked yes. him about him being so generous and why is he, is people don't know this about Cat. He's so, you will find yourself, you get out of prison, all of a sudden it's just a bunch of money waiting there. That's a cat. You will be, get out the hospital and there's money in your account. That's Cat. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, Yvette Wilson, who played Endell on, uh, the Brandy show. Her last Moesha. year, she, she, Moesha, did Yvette die of cancer, Kim? Yvette Wilson? She did. She, she died of cancer. Cat's a nice her person, but he's not, he's not generous. He's not like that. He will help people from time to time. He's generous. What do you do? 
Well, but before we go, I want Kim to talk about. He helped. Kim, he helped Yvette in her last year. <laughs> she was with Cap. So now let's go to your. What is this? Yeah, right. yeah. The, uh, the purple sweet potato. That if you saw that show <laughs> on Netflix. <laughs> uh, I want to see how long y'all been talking. I want to show you when I bring out these salmon patties. I want y'all to know I done cooked some purple sweet potatoes on that show on Netflix. The centurions, all the people that are living to a hundred, and they living uh -huh. in these countries. That's what they eat. Eating purple sweet potatoes. So where you, you find that purple sweet potato, potato, Kim? I think after the show, people start bringing them in because I ain't never seen it before. I saw this in the regular um, dro uh, grocery store, and I ain't never seen that before. But it is delicious. Not as sweet as a sweet potato, but it has a different kind of like flavor to it. It's absolutely delicious. I cooked them. To this. These are boiled real quick. And that's what I saw on the show. And these I put mm -hmm. in the oven. But I had to do something because y'all just in here running your mouth. We going on a three hour podcast. <laughs> what are you screaming at? What are you screaming for? Two, three. Yep. Three hours. <laughs> we did just lose an engineer. His, his, do you understand? Chris, stop it. Oh, you want me? Okay. Chris, Chris, okay. I'm coming. Chris's staff has left the building. Oh, Lord Jesus. Hey, hey. You know what? I asked you. What is that? When you come on our podcast. Two, <laughs> two image awards. Two image awards and more. Okay, hey, this is what it does. You know, we don't have to because when Chris's staff starts leaving the building and Chris is there by himself in a building with glass windows, like it just he's out there Chris, in the middle of nowhere, St. Louis, with glass windows from floor to ceiling. You could see in the doggone windows. Uh, we do want Chris to go has home. your your staff has left the building, Chris. Logan, uh, so, so Logan, Logan's a musician, and he also he works in the by Jack part of the the merchandise part of the wing, and he's an audio engineer and, and an engineer. So Deja is newer. Key brought her in. That's our studio manager. Deja's newer. Deja's been shadowing. Logan mm -hmm. now has to go play. He's a musician. He's going to go play a show, but he started working at like three <laughs> thirty. And he expected to be done by like, I don't know. Usually Kim starts throwing a fit at like 48 minutes. So he thought he'd be here till like 5 o'clock, 5.15. Deja, Deja is now manning the, the whole. Uh, she's doing great. Deja is a lovely person and, and great. So we have it under control. But I did take a photo as Logan was leaving and sent it to Andre to say we're losing staff. Tell Deja, huh? thank you. So, you know, I get on this. I do. I love the fact that Cedar Lewis from Miracle Butter is sponsoring. Yeah. Uh, this thank you. Business. TFM 15 Cita. at checkout. Yeah. So go to Miracle Butter, put in what? TFM 15 at checkout for 15% off. And that. And Miracle Butter, I love it. You We're going to connect this? Dita with Sita. So what we do, Sherry, you know this, and it's good to remind everybody. What we do is you're basically building a small business community and network. Sita has put her money where her mouth is. Two Funny Mamas gave her so many clients and helped her level up. She literally, I texted her and I was like, I don't even do this for Two Funny Mamas, even though this is my background. I don't even do this because of just how crazy things are. Occasionally, I'll, I brought in Jack Daniels for the live show or whatever. But I texted Sita. I'm like, hey, got this idea. I think Sherry and Kim will be into it. She's all in. She's been. She's a, a true sponsor, not just a friend who's coming on. So what we do is we connect Sita with all the people who come on here. So like Dr. Britton and her have spoke. So now Dita, Sita will talk. They can share ideas, different things. It's a really oh, cool thing that Sherry and Kim started seriously you guys start you guys would just take emails from people saying hey i've got this thing can you tell people about it and it's evolved into this it's very cool we love people who are starting businesses because i love i love yeah. it because it means that you're stepping out on faith anybody that's starting mm -hmm. a business has had to step out on faith and that's come, right you know and step, and step it past is not, the fear it's or so hard it's, it's so hard it's so hard because 
starting a business is not easy, especially now. And especially starting a business and keeping a business, maintaining it, uh, you know, keeping the business going is very difficult. Like in your position, mm -hmm. the strike has affected you, Dita, mm -hmm. but you're still maintaining. And I love it because even still, you got this God idea to say, hey, you know, man, could I feature my business on your on on two funny mamas? You know, mm -hmm. you know me, you gotta you gotta like bug me. That's why I be telling Andre, <laughs> just bug me because there's so much going on. Then mm -hmm. you know things move. And, you know, I think God is positioning and timing, and mm -hmm. but you still gotta show up. You just gotta show yeah. up every day. Yeah. So yeah. followers and subscribers, please subscribe to uh, Dita. What do you got? An email or a newsletter? or something or yes when when you go on um the website um there's a newsletter you can put your email address and you receive um i think it's 20 percent or 10 percent off right chris oh so you do get a discount no yeah. you do you sign yeah. up for the newsletter yeah. if you go to our website just drop your email and there's your discount now here's where the listeners have gotten and have been savvy and helpful they ask for a code almost to just track so it can prove that two funny mamas is sending business to you. That is wonderful in this current situation. Let's just roll with it. And uh, the faith will be there that uh, Dita, maybe if she comes back, we'll have a code. But the people do are ask for that. Are you able to track it, Dita, to know if two funny mamas people are coming? Is there any way you could? Yeah, you I would track it from anything that came in from today. And I don't have a code for um, two funny mamas. Well, because but it's not only today. Leave a comment on Instagram. I mean. Do whatever yeah we we have the uh this is going to be up on our site so okay it's not only oh. today we'll be purchasing we just want to be able to track how much business is coming from us we can so you. we can create we'll create a code um bixa in the number two funny mamas i'll create a call tonight like have you, my team do that like like if you do bixa tfm Oh, that's better. Yeah, TFM. Yeah, big TFM. How, okay. How about how about this? How about this? What's the uh, what's the percentage off? Or are you just tracking it? Um, we're having her track. Well, I'm not going to yeah. answer. Well, we, we could so just, you're we tracking could do, it. Just do TFM. We can we can do ten percent off. Well, I don't want this to interfere with what you're giving to the girls in Tanzania. Right. Because you're already giving okay. something off with the email. We're just trying to track it. So maybe how did you hear um, about us? And maybe they put in two funny mamas or something like that. Two funny mamas. But yeah, two, if they, if they, um, I'm trying to see how, because the way we track it, we enter like a coupon code or we could not, or we can just enter, um, if they can enter something like Bixa to TM to uh, TFM. There you go. TFM or something like that. That's how we can track it. Yeah. You set it up. That's the part that I don't. I, I know. Not I in the barrel. <laughs> we just uh, want to track, you know, what's coming in from two funny mamas. But the proceeds are going towards for the girls in Tanzania, yes. and, you know, to develop a skill set, to go to college, basic, you know, things that young girls need that we take for granted. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just appreciate you coming on bixabeauty.com. Thank you for having me. You know, girl. <laughs> and thank you for having being patient for an hour and a half before we even <laughs> talked about your business. <laughs> thank you for being patient. You know how Kim is. She look, Kim gonna come back in 10 minutes and be like, I can't believe that they didn't cut off the podcast without me. Um, <laughs> just we appreciate you and thank you for talking about your faith. And we are praying that the strike is over very soon. They're going back to the table. They say they are getting close so that productions can come back up and you can start working and get yes. back to doing what you do. Which yes. is, you know, making yes. people yes. beautiful, feel beautiful. Yes, yes. Well, I just want to say thank you, Britt. Thank you for having me. You know, um, to see the evolution of two of two funny mamas is just amazing. To know that you guys are two-time NAACP Emmy Awards, I'm just so.
proud of you. It was a it was an idea, and that's another thing. It's an idea. A business is an idea, and it takes the faith and the vision. You just write it down. You just keep going with it. And this was an idea, and look at it today. You're giving back. You're helping. Yeah, how long have you been doing this, Chris? Almost four years. How long we've been rocking? On, coming up on four years. We're closing in on two hundred episodes too. This yeah, is amazing. episode one seventy. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. 170 episodes four years later this mm -hmm. podcast and, no mur um, no murders we haven't killed each other fans. we've done some live shows it's a big deal yeah see yeah, we got mad at each other we didn't we didn't went through some stuff my gosh um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but we still come but out because you. we know the mission of what this podcast is about and we're we are being of service to people yes. so we always go back to what's the mission mm -hmm. Of two funny mamas, um, that's the, but um, we're very very thankful to our subscribers because they are the ones that got us this NAACP Image Award. I don't even have a therapist that's anymore because she was in the same category. <laughs> Her podcast with I didn't even know my therapy podcast, but apparently I looked up one day and I was like, that podcast is up against two funny mamas. That's my therapist. <laughs> so we won, and I lost my damn therapist. I oh. find, I'm looking for another therapist right now. How you lose your therapist? <laughs> and I tried to say to her, I was like, you know, no harm, no foul. She was like, no, no harm, no foul. But I ain't got no more appointments available. What? So, oh, wow. I don't want to put She's an amazing <laughs> therapist. Absolutely amazing. She said you had appointments for me. I done lost my therapist. That's the name of a book. <laughs> so, and I'm looking I for I done lost my therapist. I didn't lost Hilarious. my therapist. One Hilarious. and lost my therapist. So uh, that's the name of the comedy our, album. <laughs> no, we thank our um, our subscribers because they are the ones that got us the two uh, NAACP Image Awards. Chris is about to submit another episode for uh, Emmy maybe this one for a NAACP uh, a consideration. So we're hoping that we get another one. And yeah. we thank you for coming. I now have to become mother because Jeffrey has walked in this room about four or five times, which means he needs to unload this time before he goes. To <laughs> Go. All the information for Dita is in the live chat. It's in the description. Follow her on Instagram. Go to the website. Okay. We'll have a code up eventually. Bixa Beauty. Sherry Bixa Sh Beauty. That's right. Bixa Beauty. And Lanaki, Lanaki, I hope you left a. Uh, an email for Chris because we got the package. It'll be here in a few days. Love it. So, so you can ship it to you. You can also be sure to check out Sherry's TV show. Go see Kim and Andre in Atlanta this weekend. That's important that you go support her and then keep an eye out for more uh, shows coming up soon. Great show, everybody. Sherry, get some rest. Go go hang out with Jeffrey. I'm yes. Yeah, I'm going to hang out with you. I love you. Love you, Dita. Love you. Chris, you. Love you, too. All right, thank Asia you. And everybody. What's with the grin? Sheffy and Kim, yeah, that's them. About to throw down again. Tickling the soul from beginning to the end.